Sigma K. Good morning, girl. How are you? I got a story this morning. Listen. Stay in, okay? Take this stuff serious. I'm up here. First off, I'm happy to be alive. I am like mad happy to be alive. I'm like mad happy to be alive. Because I had an episode last night that scared the fuck out of me. And you know, I'm pretty fearless. And um, not Harley. Not Harley, one of those as a hypochondriac or anything like that. You know, I mean, I like, you know, sickness and whatever. Like, remember me, I'm like the last one to go to the doctor. You know, I'm like, I don't I do not do doctors and shit like that. Because I know what, you know. I mean, I don't know, but I know that most of their game right now ain't a game that's good for people. It's, it's, it's all a game. It's all a crazy game. But uh, this is what happened to me last night. Because you all know, you know, I've been... Um, handling business i mean we do have to go outside you know to get you know groceries and shit like that and stuff like that and i had to handle some business and i know i know i know me being me me being me you know me being me i know me i know myself me being me um uh what i I, i'm a lot shaken because i um last night wasn't good but i'm here so it's great so it's all great it's all good it's all good. <sighs> Breathe. It's all good. So, I've been going out uh, to do what you have to do. Well, you know, I've been going out in nature because I'm a nature baby. I'm a nature baby. Listen, I know people want to get out this summer. I know people want to get out this spring. And I'm just saying this because I want people to take this serious. Because they're not taking it serious. And the government is just doing shit that doesn't care. It's just doing it. It's about money. And they know people are dying. They know people are dying. They're counting on people dying. That's This is not a conspiracy. This is some real shit. They are counting on people dying. Now, I have been telling you about this stuff. Other people have been telling you about this stuff. Quite a few people have been telling you about this stuff. You think we're conspiracy theorists and this, that, blah, 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 blah. There are conspiracy theorists out there. I would be the first to agree with that. I look at some people and like, what the fuck are you on? But I'm not really one of those people. I don't, I don't like fly off into conspiracy theories and shit like that. I'm a very logical person. I research shit. You know, that's one thing that people don't do. They listen to people and then they just take their word for it or whatever. And they don't like, they don't research it for themselves. You got to research it for yourself. That's the beautiful thing about going inside right now. The whole thing about going inside is that you got to go inside and you got to know what you know, what you know. And I know this government's fucked up. I know that. And I know there's something out there. I know that. And you have these people talking about it's a hoax, it's a hoax, it's a hoax. And I know people who are dying from COVID, and that's not a hoax. And I know that 5G will kill, radiation will kill your ass, and that's not a hoax. And I know they really haven't tested it, and or they don't care. Look at what, look at what President Dalek, I mean, they do shit, and they don't really do a lot of it. They don't see it through. They get the cheapest people. To work for something they don't even know what, what, what like Jared, his his son in law or his son or whatever, who like his task force of uh his task force or whatever the whatever the shit he's on, whatever committee he's on, his task force consists of a bunch of college graduates who just got out of college. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They just got out of college. They don't even know what the fuck they're researching. But they're cheap. And their bodies. See, this is my team. And we're researching. They don't even know what the fuck they're researching. It's like the doctors and the nurses. They don't even know what they're treating. If you listen to them enough, you will hear them say they don't know what they're doing. They don't know. They don't know what they're treating. So, uh, uh, so in any event, in any event, I had a moment last night. Let's get, oof, wait. I'm feeling snotty. This is not. This is not me. I'm not gonna be the snotty kid. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be the, the snotty kid with snot running all down my nose and everything. Sorry. You know. You, you know I'm a water sign. You know we're emotional. And I'm. 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 I'm I, I am emotional right now. But I'm here. Oh my God. I'm still here. I'm sorry about this. This is so tacky. I know. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, why am I apologizing for it? Shit happens people blow their nose. I know. But the story I'm trying to get to is that me being hard-headed, we all know I'm hard-headed. We all know I'm hard-headed. No one knows more than him that I'm hard-headed. He knows I'm hard Who's him? Don't, don't matter. Don't worry about it. Just the storyline is what the storyline is. But he was like, why are you going out? Why are you going to just stay in? Just stay in. Okay, well, you know, I had to go out and handle this business. Yeah, but then, you know, you went out and you did all this. You didn't have to do that. You're right. You're right. I didn't. But, you know, like everybody else right now, you see it's a beautiful day and it's all nice and blue and stuff like that. And I'm a nature baby. And then, you know, once I start getting around trees and shit like that, I'm like, oh, uh, uh. Nature looks so pretty, but it's not what you it's not what you see that will kill you right now. It's what you don't see. It's not what you know will kill you right now. It's what you don't know. And a lot of people think they know and they don't know. They don't know. And if anything I get to you, if anything I impress upon you is right now, all these people who are saying this shit is a hoax. Fuck all of them. Seriously, fuck them. Because life is going to fuck them. Because it's not a hoax and it's not a joke. What's a joke right now is our government and the and just the, 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 the just, woo, this shit that's going on right now. And I mean, I really can't, I'm not even going to talk about it because I'm not going to put myself out no more than I already have because they kill people like me. They'll kill me quicker than they kill any of y'all. Seriously, because, you know, they don't want us saying nothing. But last night, though, man, once again, first and foremost, when you find that one that you can listen to that has never lied, well, <laughs> that's another story. But really, you know, that that you know that's really, because every, everything, every time he said, like, you need to go to the hospital, you need to go, I don't do doctors, you need to go to the hospital. Good thing I went to the hospital because I could have died that night. This was the scariest moment I've had since January. <coughs> no. <coughs> no. 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 It's me just choking on my own stuff right now. My own emotions. No. 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 Ain't doing that. Fighting that. Nope. The devil is a lie. No. So, what I'm saying is, last night, you know, after the last couple of days, going outside, showing you how the trees are breaking down and all this, how I'm looking at the trees, and I'm looking at, like, ooh, tree shoots are like, you know, go up, but I'm seeing the limbs break down. And I know there's some integrity structure breakdown going on. Radiation will do that. Radiation will do that. I'm out of Fort Bragg. I mean, come on, Fort Bragg. You got to know there's a whole bunch of towers. 5G towers and radiation going on at Fort Bragg. It's Fort Bragg. <laughs> it just is what it is. Uh, uh, and the, all these troops just came back. I knew about it, forgot about it, whatever. So I'm getting out. And then, you know, plus I'm getting some extra toilet tissue. You can only get you know, like one toilet tissue at the, uh, at, at the commissary. So, you know, I went out yesterday and got it. I went out the day before I got one. Why are you doing that, baby? You got four months worth of toilet tissue. I know that, but I'm a hoarder. <laughs> I, I guess I'm finding out that I'm kind of, I'm like, I'm, I'm caught up in that way to like, why have I, why do I have all this fucking toilet tissue? I mean, right now, once things come down, because they're still going to be making toilet tissue, they want to sell this panic. They do, they do. They want to sell this panic and sell this fear that, you know, we're not going to be able to find ass paper. You will just give it a moment. Now, those of you who didn't plan in advance, I feel sorry for you. I started stocking up on this shit like over a month and a half, about two months ago, because I saw it coming. Oracle, remember? So, you know, but this, but then I started getting caught. Oh, toilet tissue was like so much toilet tissue in the comments. Like, but you, I, I had to have a choice. Like, well, do I want this or do I want that? Or do I want that? But you only get one pack. So I got one pack yesterday, the day before, and I got them one pack yesterday. But both those days, I went outside and stayed a little bit longer than I should. Got chastised for it. See, I didn't listen to them. Should have. And I see why. I'm getting to that point. So, um, Anyway, like I said, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if it's the lady, the the old baddie lady 
crazy white lady. I mean, no, no offense to the white people out there, but you know, it's old crazy white that you know, y'all be doing some shit. You know, you looking at black people, black people, you know, you shoot a black security guard and he's just telling you like wear your mask wear your mask and you know you're gonna shoot him. You know what? White people who just do the you you woo! Ooh, ooh, it's good that I stay inside right now because, man, my anger is stupid crazy right now. I mean, like, I am that type of person. I don't even, I don't even know, I don't know how to control it sometimes. So if I get something, if I see something that makes me really, 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 really super hardcore angry, I'm not going to lie to you. I'll be the first that I might respond first before I think. That's just me. That's just me. I am logical. I think. I'm smart. I have absolutely no intention of going to jail on some dumb shit. But if somebody just pisses me the fuck off completely, I might be that bitch that goes, boom, and you won't even know it. Those who know, who really know me, know that. So that's why it's good that I stay away from people and I stay away from stupid people because you don't, I'm like the hoe. I'm like the female hook. You don't know what happens when I get mad. I get very angry. You don't want to see me angry. You really, really don't want to see me when I get that angry. The point I'm trying to make is that after being outside for the last couple of days, more than I should, handling business and then getting caught up, as we do, because the media is making it seem like things are relaxed now. We're going to like open up the businesses and stuff like that. You do realize it's about money, right? You do realize they don't care about you, right? You do realize that they want you to die, right? This decreases the population. Let me tell you something one more time about what the Republican Party does when they're in office. They always will create a war. Why do they create a war? It's not about freedom. How is it every four years or whatever, whenever they get, all of a sudden there's somebody needs to be free? It's always about money. It's always about control. It's always about property. They want to get the gas. They want to get the poppy field. They want to get control of something, they, the technology. They want to get control of We're freeing people, yet the people they freed are fucked up. Are still Those people they freed in Iraq and Iran are still fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So that, thank you for that. I guess they thank you every fucking day for freeing them. Thank you. Our lives have never been worse and still. So the point I'm trying to make is that this whole shit, you know, that I just think is despicable, but I understand the times because we are in these demonic times. And I don't mean like demonic, like, well, I kind of do. I do. I mean, it's a, it's a demonic type of mentality where you really just don't give a shit. You have no conscience. You are so about your ego and you're so about your control and you're so about money that you don't care what happens to people. And I mean, this is insane to me. This is just insane seeing this stuff. So it has to be a change. I mean, this is this everything is lined up for this type of change. I'm sorry, I'm emotional. I'm a Pisces. It is what it is. I just went through some stuff last night. I know my big sisters. Why are you getting on? I don't I don't know. Because I feel like if I save one life today, if I save one life today with this testimony, then I have done my job. I've done I've done I've done what I was supposed to do. I've been here and done what I was supposed to do. That's all I'm trying to do right now. If I can save one person other than myself. So last night, after the last couple of days. Of escaping in the forest. Because you know I want to go to the beach. You know I want to go to the beach. Ask, your, ask yourself. If the beach baby ain't going to the beach. There must be something wrong. What is it? You know no one really tells me what to do. Even he you know. He he, he knows. He, can, he, can, he can suggest. That I can do this or do that. But I do what I want to. So even he knows. He can't tell me what to do. That's the beautiful thing about free will. You have a choice to fuck up or not. <laughs> God, God is whatever will show you, you know, show you the options. And it's up to you to take it. You're going to take the blue pill or you're going to take the red pill. You're going to do the same thing you used to do before or you're going to learn or you're going to die. So anyway, last night, yes, last night, like about seven or eight o'clock, whatever. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm just out of nowhere. It came so fast. It came so fast. Out of like nowhere. I'm like, 
I automatically got thrown back to where I was in January, where I'm like, my equilibrium is just off. And I'm like, what, what, wait a minute, what's happening here? And I started getting like really dizzy and woozy and I'm walking into everything. I'm walking into the walls and I'm walking into the door and I'm like, what the hell? You know, what the, what the hell is this? When I thought we, what was, what was that when you have like, um, um, you know, what is that when, you know, people have, what, what is that? What is that shit? But what is, what is that shit when you, um, when you're just always dizzy, when you're just always dizzy, your equilibrium is completely off and you're just always dizzy. It happened just that quick out of nowhere. And I'm like, wait, why am I, why am I off all of a sudden? I'm just running the walls and stuff like that. And I felt my body shutting down or something it was just it was a weird vibe it was the weirdest vibe i've ever had in my life when i was in the hospital in january and i was like giving basically a 50 50 chance in the icu and i i wasn't i wasn't nowhere near as scared as i was last night because there were moments that led up to me being in the hospital there were moments and i had people like you know and i had him like you need to go and check that out you need to go with the blood pressure and everything because the blood pressure was like the combination of a whole bunch of shit that was already going with my body and whatever was going on whatever i was exposing myself to but it was a combination of stuff so it was kind of like one of those things like well whatever it is what it is last night i didn't see coming maybe i should have maybe i should have because I see what's going on out there. I can't lie. I can't deny about that. I see what's going on out there. I know I don't know everything. I don't. You got people, I know. I, you don't know shit. You don't know shit. What you know? We've done this thousands of years before. We've done this. You know what? Shut the fuck up, motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. You'll be one of the first ones. Stop bitch snap the fuck out of you if you come around me. Shut the fuck up. You out here killing people. You want to go and kill yourself? Kill yourself. Don't say that. Okay. Ugh. Don't say that, baby. Don't say that. Why not say that? Stupid people should kill themselves. We're all stupid sometime or another. You know, I get it. We get it. I just, more than anything else, stupid and ignorant people just piss me the fuck off. You know who pisses me more, than, more, more often than President Darling? Stupid and ignorant people. Who act like they know and they don't know shit. And they're lining up people. They got these followers and shit like that. And it's just so sad. Because that's all I hope. And it's some dumbass idiot. Like there's no such thing as immunity system. Nigga. Shut the fuck up. Take you and your crack. And go somewhere else. You know this crack mentality out here. Is just like really really crazy. The part I'm trying to make. Back to me. And a personal story. And a personal journey. And why you should stay inside. Because I was inside. And then I was outside. And I was exposed. I don't know exactly when, where, or what. I don't know if it's when crazy old bitty batty white lady and her daughter with no mask on. <coughs> coughing on me behind my back. I don't know if it was that. I don't know if it was like, you know, uh, 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 when I went out on post and, you know, you got like 2,000 new troops back in and everything and, and, and every, everybody's feeling kind of relaxed. They're still doing the mask thing, but it's funny how some of them like, you know, they have the masks on, they don't have the masks on, but when they get ready to get into the, to the commissary or the PO, what they put the masks on then. Because you know what? I mean, it's like, you know, they walk around, yeah, fuck the mask. But when you, but you know, you can't go inside without the mask on. So they put the mask in. So and it's, it's, it's understandable because you look at the day, you look at everything, and it looks good, but it's not. Remind you, you can have a beautiful, handsome person who's got full-blown AIDS, and you don't know that they're walking death to you. Fuck them, and they fuck you. Well, this is what's going on right now. This is the United States right now. The United States is like a full-blown person with AIDS. It looks beautiful. It looks great, but it's fucking you. The minute why, the minute you buy into this fuckery, you're going to get fucked up. So, I don't know, like I said, it was like being out on post and the new troops coming in. I'm going to Starbucks. And I put my hand on the counter and it caught me like, oh, I put my hand on the counter. I don't know how many students to put their hands on the counter. So, I'm rushing to the bathroom, you know, and washing my hands, you know, and all this and all that. But I don't know. It only takes a second. I don't know what it takes. I don't know. The, sto the point of the story I'm trying to make 
It said, so last night, I'm feeling my body shut down from out of nowhere. And it's happening quickly. I mean, quickly. So, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, being the Oracle thing, like I'm accessing all memories. I'm accessing everything I've ever heard, everything I've seen, everything I've been told, you know, the stuff that, you know, you think you're not paying attention to, but you do. I remember even my doctor saying like, up your vitamin C, up your vitamin C, up your vitamin C. So I'm trying to like automatically like, okay, let me get some more vitamin C in my system. Let me get some vitamin C. So I'm getting my emergency and trying to put it in my water and I'm feeling myself like passing out and shit. And I'm like, you know, I'm trying to, and I'm trying to put the vitamin C in the water. And the next thing I know, I'm getting up off the floor. I guess I fainted. I don't know. It was only like a second or so. You know, like it's like water's on the floor and, you know, the vitamin C powder's on the floor. And so all of a sudden I had to get to the bathroom. I mean, like I really had to get to the bathroom. This is the part. I have no shame. I do have shame, but I have no shame. I'm telling y'all about this because it's serious. So, I mean, don't laugh. I mean, I laugh about I laugh about that. It's funny afterwards. It's not funny then. It won't I didn't want a damn thing funny about it last night. So I'm uh I'm I'm um I'm going to the bathroom. I feel this need to go. I'm like passing not going to the bathroom and like all of a sudden I have like explosive explosive diarrhea. That's embarrassing to say, but this might save somebody's life right now. Explosive I mean it's just like it was ugly. It was horrible. It's like my whole body just emptied the fuck out. Just I'm like, what the hell? Really? Really? What the fuck is this? And as this is going on, did I just break another ring? I did. Wow. Deep. As this is going on, I'm still like Feeling like I need to pass out. I'm I'm feeling the body like I'm feeling like, you know, everything about my body is saying like, go to sleep, go to sleep. I'm like, what? You know, like so I'm like on the toilet. I got shit everywhere. I mean, like everywhere. And I'm like, and the and the body is like, want to sleep and all this. Now see, this is where my vanity. Hell to my vanity. Woo! Hell to the vanity clan. Because the th well, I mean, what am I gonna do? I mean, I feel myself. I I I felt myself dying. I literally felt like I was dying. Maybe I wasn't feeling like I was dying. Maybe I was dying. The point of the matter is what you're going to do. Call 911? No. Because I could tell by the way I was going by the time 911 got here, if they ever got here, I was going to already be dead or something or unconscious. What are they going to do? Take you to Area 51 in court? I wasn't, I could, no, I can't, no, nope, 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 nope. Can't do that. Can't do that. Won't do that. Can't do that. If I'm going, my. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to stand on my own two feet. Or I will go out like that. But I didn't want to go out like that last night because I've got a lot to live for. My life right now has been better than it ever has been in, since, since, since my husband's death. My life right now is in the midst of this insanity. I really am living my best life. I'm like ready to get out of quarantine and do some things. I don't know when this is going to be. I know it ain't going to be this summer. I don't even know if it's going to be this year. That's This is how sh serious this shit is. But so I'm fighting. I'm fighting myself like last. I'm fighting. I'm fighting for my life. I'm like fighting for my, in the midst of this shit. I am in literally the irony of it. The secret is of it. In the midst of all this shit. I am fighting for my life, and I'm like, what to do? Now, I know some of you be like, oh, Lord, please help me. I mean, I didn't do that, ironically. I did, I think, maybe. I don't know. At the moment, I wasn't really concerned about calling on God. I was concerned about, you know, like, what, what what's happening, and, and, and how can I stay, how can I stay awoke, you know, like, because I remember this doctor. I remember this black nurse, or this black doctor said, like, you guys, because this, this thing, works differently with black people. You don't always hear the stuff with black people. You hear the stuff with white people, but you need to like everything else. Doctors, you know, just like with doctors and medicine, doctors don't really give a fuck about women and they don't give a fuck about black people. In fact, of the matter is, we all got the same blood. We all blood, we all bleed red. You know what? Our, our body mechanisms are not the same though. Our body physiologies are not the same though. It's not the same. You can't treat women based on the shit how you treat men. And so much of the medical profession is about that.
It treats women how they treat men. And obviously we are different. That's why you got all these motherfucking doctors who do not know how to treat women. And they don't give a fuck because they're going to get paid anyway. It's all a system. It's all a business. And black people are different. Our physiologies are different. Our blood pressure is not like their blood pressure. Our, how we operate is not like them. So that's why you got to know yourself. This is a good time to go inside and know yourself. Find doctors and shit who are willing to know you and work with you about you and not like put you out with like everybody else because you are different. So I'm going through this and I'm dying on the fucking toilet. I'm like, and all I could think of was like, I'm not going to have them find, I'm not going to have them find me dead on a toilet full of shit. That will not be in the paper. That will not be, you will not see, Dow Jones died so tall, you know, radio, you know, radio NASA, you will not see that shit. So I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Stay awake, stay awake, stay awake. This doctor said to move. You got to move. You got to move. First, I got to move my ass off this toilet. I got to get all this shit off me. Got to move. And my, my mind is like, move, okay. I got to dance. Girl, you can't even dance. You can't even walk right now. You are dying. You're about to fall out. What the fuck are you talking about? You need to go and dance. Come on. You got some serious stuff to go through. Dancing ain't the option right now. But you got to move. Just stay awake. First, you got to stay awake. And it was a fight. It was the hardest fight of my life. I swear, I'm a, that was the hardest fight of my life last night to just stay conscious. And I knew I had to, I knew that, I knew that instinctively that I had to stay conscious. Because this doctor was saying it's like the sleep of death. If you go to sleep, if you don't, if you go, if you, you, you won't wake up. And I could feel it. I could feel my whole body shutting down. And that's and I don't fear. You know me. I'm a fucking fearless chick. And that scared the fuck out of me. I'm like, oh my God. I'm dying and I know it. This this not this this ain't the time. This ain't the time. Access. Do, 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 do. Access. What can you do? Like, not just pray. God save me. God is not going to save you. At, at this point, you got to think about something you can do. You got to think about this is what I'm keep telling you. I don't, I don't, I'm not telling people not to pray, not to have faith or anything like that. But at moments like this, it's got to, you, you know, you can't depend on God. God's not going to save you. God is giving you what you need to do. You got to figure out deep down inside, what can you do to save yourself? If I had just like been sitting on the toilet and just passed out, I said, just God save me. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't woke up this morning and be able to share this nice, pretty story with you. Oh, did I say this was morning circus? Yeah, whatever it is. Uh, uh, where we deal with the elephant and, and we, we deal with the elephants and the donkeys, but not, not all that shit. But unfortunately, I was dealing with a lot of shit. I'm in a lot of shit. I'm like all caked up and shit. All on the clothes, all on everything. I'm just like, oh, this is horrible. It was God that was like filthy, horrible, nasty. So I'm fighting for my life. And I know I had to stay conscious. So I'm hearing hot water. I don't know. Now, I, now, let me say this. Don't hold me to this. Don't hold me to this. I don't know if that shit works or not. All I know is I remember the nurse saying, or the doctor saying, you got to stay awoke. So that was my prime thing. I got to stay conscious. I got to stay conscious because if I go to sleep, if I pass out, I'm not going to wake up. I'm going to be dead. I knew that. I knew that. Didn't know why I didn't do divine interview. Like, no, I'm dying right now. I done some stupid. I went out there too much. I done got too much radiation. I'm up here trying to show people, see the trees, see the integrity, see this. And I'm up here like doing me. I'm, I, you know, people didn't sacrifice me this time. I sacrificed myself for the people. You know, I didn't. Nobody put me on the cross. I put my own self on the cross trying to show people, see, this shit is real. See, this shit is real. See, this shit is real. And the whole time he's been saying, baby, save you. It ain't about them anymore. Save you. Save you. Save us. Save us. In the palace. Stay in the palace. Stay with me. Stick with me. Stick with me through this. We gonna be okay. But no, I want to do me. 
I wanted to do me. I wanted to go outside. No way. I'm telling you to stay inside and I'm going outside because you know what? I wanted to be around nature. I wanted to hug a tree. I want I wanted to go to the beach. I ain't going to the beach. I ain't go I am not going to the beach this whole entire damn summer. That's the fact. You won't catch me at the beach. Not this summer, because I know this this radiation is no joke. Radiation will break you the fuck down. The virus. It's a virus. Any virus is a virus. We'll, 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 it, uh, you can be healthy and get a cold, and your body's going to feel it. Let's let's just be honest about it. You can be healthy, you can get a cold, and you can catch a cold, your immune system breaks down, and you just have to, like, you know, the cold just has to, like, run, at, run its course. But you feel bad, you feel horrible, la, 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 you know, you're sick, whatever. Catch the flu, same thing. You know, how many of you have the flu? You know, catch the flu, throwing up sick, almost feeling like you don't want to die. I had food poisoning and flu at the same time one time. I scared my husband to death. He thought I was dying. He was just like, just go to the hospital, baby. And I'm like, no, because I don't do hospitals. But then in the same tone, I'm going like, just shoot me. Please, just shoot me. Just sh And I'm in a minute. Because I wanted to die. I was feeling so much pain. I was like, just shoot me. And he was like, baby. Go to the hospital. I'm telling my husband. I'm telling my military husband to shoot me. But I won't go to the doctor. I know. The logic of Val. Back. Stay focused, girl. My Gemini rise in first and second house. Going. I'm, all things. All things are going through my head at the same time. So I'm like, so I'm like getting ready to pass out on the toilet amongst a ton of shit. My only primal thought is stay awake. You've got to stay awake. I literally felt like I was having my own superhero moment. I'm like, you know, like that where you see all the superheroes, you see all those movies where the superhero, the superheroine is out and they're out and they look like they're about to die. <laughs> and it's like, you know, and everybody's wrote them out, you know, and it's like, okay, well, I guess she going. I guess we want, you know, I guess... I guess it is what it is. You know, Superwoman ain't going to make it through this. Wonder Woman ain't going to make it through this. Storm and Jean Grey ain't going to make it through this. You know, I guess the Black Panther ain't going to make it through this. And I went, the hell that I won't. The hell I won't. My DNA, my, no, nope, 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 no. I will stay awake. I will stay awake. I will stay, I will not die like this. So I got it. I made it to the shower. Hot water is hot as I could stand it. Again, do not, do not, do not, because uh, 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 I can't verify this. I can't verify this at all. That whole thing, well, hot water kills coronavirus. Do I believe that? I don't know. I don't know. No, but I don't know. Hell, when you're dying, you try anything, you know. So I'm just saying what worked for me. Once I got in that shower, it's hot, and I was just scrubbing. I was washing everything. I was washing, and over and over and over and over and over. I'm washing my hair. I'm washing my head. How I got even the energy to do that, considering just moments, just moments, all I wanted to do was just like pass out. And if anybody was ever passed out or fainted, you don't to do anything other than pass out or faint is really impossible. You just go. You know, so I'm fighting the faint. I'm fighting the pass out. I'm fighting the sleep of death. And I'm like, I got to get in the water. So I'm like scrubbing myself and wash myself like I'm going to like let the water just 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 get this off of me. Just get this off of me. Just get I'm baptizing myself. <laughs> just get this off of me with my uh doctor, my doctor, my, my sea salt and it was sea the Epsom sea salt stuff too. So, you know, that that whole thing was good. It wasn't just so it was just Epsom sea. I mean any some could have probably done the same thing, but I'm just saying I was using everything I had. And then I turned around and I did like a five to 10 minute cold shower. Cold is cold. Yes. As cold as cold can be, because I know for a fact, I've been practicing this for four years, uh, of, of taking hot showers and cold showers of taking hot showers and right and right behind it, cold showers, because that does build up your immunity system and it throws your body into a, a different realm. Like, you know, you hot, and then cold, and then, you know, it's kind of like jump starts your body. It kicks in the, uh, I don't know if it's the white uh, blood cells or what. I don't know. I don't, you, you know me. I don't remember instructions. I just know shit work. So, uh, so I did the cold shower, and I felt better. 
I felt better. And then, of course, I, you know, look out and I'm like, I got to clean up this shit because it was just everywhere, just everywhere. So I had to clean it up, mop, mop the floor, mop everything, clean up the commode, clean up everything. I'm like, you know, Lysoling everything down. I'm not now just moments, mind you, like what, five, 10, 10, 20 minutes before I'm like in passed out city. Almost I'm fighting, trying not to pass out. Now I'm up here cleaning up the toilet. I'm saying, I threw away some perfectly good khakis, some perfectly good fatigue khakis, like my favorite khakis. And I was like, and I got, and for a minute I got mad about that. And I'm like, child, it's just fucking khakis. It's not like you can't buy clothes. You ain't going to want to wash this shit anyway at this point. Come on, throw that shit in a trash bag, throw it outside. Throw it in the trash bin, in the trash bin the next day. You ain't cleaning up that. Sh it's just khakis. It's just socks. It's just like all the clothes that was waist down and everything got thrown in the trash bag, thrown out. For a brief moment, though, like I said, my, my the other vanity, like we we hold on to things that are not even worth anything. Like oh, my my khakis, my favorite khakis. I just fought for my life. And I'm worried about some fucking khakis. You gotta watch your priorities like that. You gotta watch your priorities. That's why the priorities that people get the stimulus checks and stuff like that. And the first thing you want to do is you want to get your hair done and get your nails done and get this and that. And you know you think everything's okay. You think everything's okay. Well, people are living. Well, people are good. You don't know when this thing will strike you. You don't have a clue. You don't have a clue. I didn't have a clue. I had absolutely no idea last night was going to happen, but I'm glad it did because if it hadn't, I mean, I knew what I knew, but last night confirmed it, confirmed it more than anything else. Then there's some really weird shit out there that's killing people. And if I got to be the poster child for it, then so be it. If I got to be the poster child for it, then learn from this. Learn from my mistakes. Learn from my failures. Learn from my successes. Learn from my strengths. Just learn. But man, take this shit serious. I, I, they're getting ready to open up the businesses because they need money. They don't care about people. They never cared about people. Politics don't care about people. Politicians care about the people who feed their pockets. Ask a real politician to be really, really truthful. They don't give a fuck about votes. They just want the money. Ain't the votes, it's the money. Can't pay for it. They, don't, they, they would rather have your check than your vote. Ain't that sad? Now you know something. This is how, this is how politics in America work. That's why you got to be number one. You got to be really careful with who you elect. Real talk. You got to be really, 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 really careful and see the track record. Number two, you need to. We need to. We need to destroy that electoral college. We need to destroy that elect. That electoral college fucks up everything. It does. It just fucks up everything. It does. If you want to destroy your people, I know we got to destroy five G. You ain't gonna destroy five G, honey. The technology is already there. The technology is already working. Listen, I'm a prime example. It's there. The trees are feeling it. The oracles feel it. People are feeling it. It's not just a virus. It's the combination. It's the combination of shit that's tearing your body up. That's tearing your body integrity up. That's tearing the structure of human fabric up. It's not just human fabric, just everything about the earth. I mean, you know what? The water, the, the water has been the, the, the seas and the, the seas and the oceans are dirty and full of plastic. The, pla the fish are full of plastic. People are finding like plastic in the fish. I mean, because the fish can't eat, uh, the fish are eating what it gets. So it eats plastic. That's why I help him. I, that's why I help him because, you know, he's, he's, we're on the same mission, man. This ocean, this, this plastic, like fuck Monsanto for real. It's all about money. They know this shit kills. But the food, we used to have an abundance of food supply. And now we don't. Because everything has been trashed on this planet. It's like people don't care. The leaders don't care just so long as they make their money. They don't care. I have never seen people so heartless and so greedy. Oh, this is horrible. Good God, girl. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 I mean, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. I didn't change my choice of words. Not sorry. But uh, I apologize for being a little miss. I'm, I apologize for, for, for this. I mean, well, I'm apologizing. Shit, it happens. It's natural, whatever. But I'm just saying that government for a long time has been out of control. I told you mankind is out of control. That's why I, you know, you we've got to we've got we've got to we've got to return to a more compassionate type of attitude. We got to return to we have got to embrace mother. We've got to embrace the divine feminine energy. This is this this is this massive change and evolution that's going on right now. Men. Men. You got to understand that some of the things you may be thinking or may be doing might not be right. You've done this all your life, but you know what? So what? You know what? So what? This is what you've learned all your life. Well, what if it was wrong? Consider for a possibility that it was wrong. Again, have you ever thought about the fact you keep saying father, 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 and no absolute thought of saying mother. No thought. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Father, Son, Holy Who the fuck is the Holy Ghost? Who's the Holy Ghost? You would rather say Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit than Mother. This is how, this is how uh, insane mankind is in their need to control and manipulate and to put blame on women. Oh, women fucked up. Eve fucked up everything, you know, for women. That's why women have people. You know what? Fuck you. 20 thousand billion times on shit like that how many times i've heard that and the same niggas who say that color not specific because anybody can be a nigga we know they're white niggas we know they're red niggas we know they're yellow niggas we know they're green niggas blue niggas black niggas whatever like the word dashly stupid and ignorant take the color out that applies to a lot of people no color intended stupid just stupid and continue to be stupid just stupid. And I'm tired of stupid people. It's good that I stay in. Baby gets it. You need to stay in. He has been calming me down for like three or four or five years. Those of you who know me, you know I'm a, I have a fiery temper. I have a fiery, fiery, fiery temper. I'm emotional as fuck sometimes. sometimes. I have been through a lot of shit. I've helped people and, I, and people have, have, have fucked me over. I get it though. I'm not going to blame them. Not 100% because I allowed it. But these same people come up to me right now, I will knock you the fuck out and won't even think about it. That's why I know I have to stay, I have to process my emotions because I see so much stuff going on right now. And these same people want to get to me now. Like, well, we're going to have, we're going to have a community. We're gonna, I don't give a fuck what you're doing downtown. I don't give a fuck what you're doing. Why am I relevant now? All of a sudden, shit's starting to fall apart for you, so you making me relevant. You never listened to me before. Why you want to invite me into your shit now? You never wanted to invite me to it before. When I was up there trying to say something and do something, you wanted me to be still. You wanted me to be quiet. You wanted me to just sit there. Or you wanted me to write your grants or write your shit for you. You wanted me to make your shit hot. You wanted me to make your shit pop. But you never had anything to say about what I said. You want to turn around and twist my words and then you turn around and say it like you said it. Like, da, 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 da. I don't give a fuck about none of y'all right now. This is about my crew, my art. My people who were always there for me, not the ones who try to use me. What's up, my angel? I see my angels in the house. What's up, Shavana? Hey, girl, girl. First and foremost, thank you. My Sh Sh Shavana was my angel when my uh, when uh, when my uh, when <sighs> when my husband was murdered. If 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 it had not been for her. Thank you. It's true, the universe does put people in your life for a reason and a season, and some even for a lifetime. So I'm fighting for my life right now because I'm I'm finding myself in a situation where I'm dealing with something that you know I want in my lifetime. It's not just for a season and for a reason, but uh, I guess it's for a destined lifetime. As weird as it looks and as weird as it is, and I'll be the first to agree with you because I'm in the midst of it. I'm not like you know I'm not I'm in the midst. I'm in it. 
I'm in it. So I know more than anybody. Like, this shit's weird as fuck. But, uh, but it is what it is. And I get it. So, and we've gone through like three or four, five, it's just crazy stuff, personal stuff. It's neither here nor there. I've been on a quest, a journey for like the last four or five years that you would not believe. You would have to be my life to like, like, is this shit real for real? Like, you know, who can make any of this up? I can't make any of this up. But it's like I hear, I keep hearing him say, like, I told you not, and he did, I told you not to go outside. Why'd you go outside? Why'd you go outside? Why'd you go? Because you know me, I'm fucking hard headed. I'm hard headed. I'm hard headed like 100% of America, like 100% of the world, not just Americans, everybody around the world. We're fucking hard headed. Humans are fucking hard headed. I'm still, wherever I am, you know, wherever I was, you know, God is reincarnated, this, that, Eve, Lilith, whoever, I'm still in human form, I'm still fucking, well, even then, I mean, Lilith was hard-headed, Lilith was like, I ain't doing that shit, fuck you, nigga, <laughs> I'm like, I get it, that's me, you know what I mean, you can't be but who you are, that's why don't expect people, don't expect, I don't care what they say, I don't care what they say. You watch that person's, you watch that person's steps long enough, you'll see. You got all these so-called religious people and shit like, I changed my life. I changed, God changed me. No, you changed. You got, God saved me from uh, being a drug addict. No, nigga, you got up and you decided you got tired of doing that shit. You saved you. You saved you. God didn't just take the drugs away from you. You decided you stopped taking them. Let's be real. Give yourself the responsibility. Give yourself the responsibility, and then you will give yourself the power that you have your life. You can do what you need to do in your life. Once you constantly give your power away to God or whoever, then you give your power away, and you can't do shit, and you think you're powerless. And I'm here to tell you and show you that you have power. Last night when I'm dying on the top, God. Why did I hear this before? Oh, yeah. Him dying on the floor. Me dying on the toilet. Wow. Okay. Synchronicity. Sorry. Come back. Last night when I was dying on the toilet, I didn't think like, oh, God, help me. Help me. Help me. I would have been dead. I was thinking like, oh, my God. I got to get up. I got to get up. I got to move. I got to do something. I got to do something. Like, God's got to lift me up. Look, I got to do something myself. I had to find the power in myself to save myself. I could have put it on a hospital. I could have put it on calling 911. I could have just put it on God. But I had to get up off that stinky ass, dirty ass, shitty ass toilet and find something in myself that says, I want to live and I am going to live and I'm going to fight this shit. I have never consciously fought so hard than I did last night. And I've had double pneumonia as a child. That too. That's why I guess cold, the cold water thing was like a big, it was, it was, it was almost like a like, I've been through this before with cold, with the cold, with, with, with the cold, like hot, 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 and then cold, 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 cold. I have been through so many things as a child, and it all culminated into last night. I'm going to kind of end this now because I'm still healing. Oh, I feel like I've been hit by a truck. I'm just saying, real talk, people. On this day, you may believe me or you may not believe me, but I want you to write it down. What day is this? The uh, uh, ninth? Shit. Wait a minute. No, I'm looking at wrong ca ca calendar and stuff like that. Whatever day is this? What, six, seven? I don't know. I, stuff's fluid. But I want you to write this down. That on this day, Val Jones says a lot of people will die. And then let's see what happens during the summer. Because they're going to open up these businesses. And they're going to open up these states. And it's not because it's safe. Remember, Trump's a money man. His main thing is about business. He don't care about people. He don't care about his children. He don't care about his wife. He don't, where the fuck is Melania right now anyway? Who knows? I don't know. 
he don't care about anybody. He just cares about money. He just cares about his deals going right. He just, he is so focused on the money. He don't, listen, he brings those nurses and doctors in his press conference. Do you guys, you may be looking at him and listening to him, but do you look at the people around him when he brings these nurses and stuff in and they're looking at him like, nigga. And they're trying to be respectful because it's a damn president and they're in the news and, you know, you feel like you have to do what you have to do, you know, the political thing. But you can still see in the expression of their faces, they're looking at him like, nigga. The nurse, what, yesterday, when she was saying, like, we don't have the equipment. And he's just gonna brush up. Well, well, yeah, well, yeah, you do. Da, 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 da. He doesn't even see. He doesn't even see this shit. You got a fucking idiot. I don't give a fuck. You know what? Y'all are some stupid ass motherfuckers who elect this man again. And you know what? You get what you get. What you paid for. You want to elect him again? You do that because you know what? This is gonna appear to clear up. Like I said, write this down. You can write this out. Val Jones predictions. Write this down. You can write this down. But when election time comes, one of two things is gonna happen. <laughs> One of the two things, going, everything's going to appear to be okay, so you can like at least get to the polls. You know, whether you get there or not, you know, it's still probably going to elect them anyway. I know it's sad. It's a crazy thing. We think that, well, we got Biden. Who's really wants Biden? I mean, but now, now don't get me wrong. 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 There's two things I do not want you to think that I'm not saying. I'm not saying don't get out there and vote. A non-vote is a vote for Trump. Point blank. A non-vote is a vote for Trump. So whatever you do, whatever you think, whatever your affiliation is, a non-vote is a vote for Trump. That's how it goes down. That's how politics work. What the fuck? I understand you don't like voting. I understand voting doesn't work. I understand all of that more than you know. Bitches, I majored in political science. I'm not just talking out of my head. Woo, 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 la, la. I chose radio. You know, I started out being a lawyer. And I decided, like, you know what? I didn't want to go through law school. I know me. I'm a Pisces. Three or four years hardcore in the books for three or four years nonstop? Shit. I know I like to argue, and I'm Denny Crane all day long. But I'm like, you know what? I ain't know. I don't know. No. You know, it's like somebody said, if you really don't want to do this, you don't do it. Because it's hardcore. I didn't want to be, I didn't want to go through all that and be a lawyer. Just to end up being in jail. Because I knew I'd be one. I would be in contempt of court. So, me. I would have been in jail. Out of, I would have been in jail more than people that I would try to save in jail. Because I would have been in, in contempt of court. You out of order. No, judge. You're fucking out of order. That's me. I know me. You got to know yourself. You got to know yourself. So I figured I'd be much better as a radio person than, you know, being in the court system. I could help more people like this. You got to know yourself. But I'm just saying, come election time, though, you know, that's why I said we got to break down. If we got, if you want to do something, get together and figure out how to how, how to tear up that electoral college. That's what we need to do. We need to destroy that. We need to tear that electoral college to pieces. We need to change the laws, rules, and everything about that. We need to just do something other than that because that fucks up the system real quick, fast, in a hurry. But I'm just saying, mark my words, come election time, all this is either going to magically disappear for a moment or they're going to have some type of special election where everything is so horrible that we must keep him in because, you know, he's the only one that really understands this right now. He doesn't understand shit. So don't buy that eye. Clearly look. Look at, look, look, I mean, really look at this. He doesn't understand shit. Y'all looking at him. What, well, girl? Yeah, I know. I know. I know. This has been the stimulus. I mean, man. Oh, God. I. I don't want to care. You know what I'm saying? I mean, honestly, this is weird because I'm a Pisces. I'm me and I do care. I don't want to care this much about other people. I want to like be, I don't want to be heartless. I just need to be focused. I can't be focused 
on other people. I'm like, every day, that's why some of y'all, I don't respond or whatever. You know, I see people every day. So I see somebody I know every day and that they done lost somebody. And if I don't respond, it's not because I haven't seen your pain. I just can't get, listen, I've had mama die, dad die, hubby murdered, you know, God, mommy died, you know, uncles died, cousins died. I've had, I've had more deaths in my life than just, you know, one should have as, as, as I've just had, I've just had more personal deaths in my life than one should have. So I, I feel you, I feel you, but you, it's not my, that's not my dark night. And so I can't get into your pain and suffering right now. Cause if I got to everybody's pain and suffering, I'd kill myself. Real talk. I have to stay focused. I got so much shit on me. You have no idea how much I have on my head right now. You have no idea. You have no. I mean, I'm like trying to like raise a movement, a real movement. I'm like like somebody. We we're the movement. Well, no, 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 no. This is a real movement. And I got so much shit plugged into me right now. It's unreal. And I mean, I didn't put this mission on me. This is like this really is like this mission from God. It's like you know, oh God, you know. I, Really? Why me? Why and I and I've said this in a song one time before. I think I played that song uh, uh later today. What was it called? I forgot. The calling. That's what it was called. It was called the calling. When I I literally say in the song, like, you know, like God, why me? Why why you choose me? Because you the one that heard me. Everybody thinks they hear God, but they don't. My point is I, I <sighs> I have, I personally, and I mean, I, I'm sure there were times like this before, you know, in, 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 in slavery times and even before that, and before, I don't know, I don't know, I wasn't there, I'm talking about now, I'm just talking about dealing now, I have personally never seen so much insanity and heartlessness and greediness and lies, and treachery, and deception, like I've had now. And some of the people who have done that to me, who are still wanting to plug into me now, ooh, that's why being inside, like right now, ooh, if you knew how I felt about you, you'd stay far, far, far away from me. Some of you, some people, I don't ever want them to talk to me ever, 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 ever in this life again. I don't want to work with you. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to plan with you. I don't want to collab with you. I don't want to help. Like, see how we can get. I don't want to do shit with you. Ever. Don't come to me. What the fuck you coming to me now for? How am I important to you now when I wasn't important before? Oh, you see something. Oh, you see. Oh, you see the vision now. Oh, you see a way how maybe we can get in with this. Maybe we can be. See that. See that. That's none of y'all. But those who know, they know. See that. See that. I don't give a damn about your talent. I don't give a damn about your group. I don't give a damn about the book you just wrote. I don't give a damn about the music you just put out. I don't give a damn about what you trying to do. I don't give a damn about none of that. What you trying to do for the community? You shysters? Are you motherfucking shysters? You gonna get some of this heat. Trust me, you gonna get this heat. Because this this is this is what's going on right now. I am not a biblical person. I am not a biblical person, but I'm a spiritual person. I know how to put the signs and the synchronicity together. And all this, in all of the books, it's not just one book. The Bible's not just one book, it's all books. You want to put it together like it's one book. You still fuck on, you still you still stuck on Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Like Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only name. That was that that wasn't even his name. You know what I'm saying? You keep thinking that you got the only way. That's what happens with people. They keep thinking that we're, you know, that that's that's the problem when you got these these missionaries going over to Africa, spreading Jesus, and they're poison fucking Bill Gates. You know what, man? I tried to give you a chance because I was with you on the technology, but I see, you know, and your whole, your whole Gates Foundation but you know what? I'm saying like, you are like, you are worse than, wow, you are worse than Steve, you are 10 times, 20 times worse than Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs got it right before he died, maybe because he was a Pisces. He got it. What was really, really important. 
But Gates, you know what? I gave you I gave you too much credit, dude. I thought you had a heart, but you really I should have known with all the whole windows. Every time windows come out, windows three, four, five, six, seven, like every year there was like a new windows. I'm still like really not really doing my computer like I need to because I can't stand Windows 10. Hate it. The most the most uh uh the most uh non people friendly I just need to get a mat. What I need to do, I just need to get a mat. But you know, every every year, it's like the technology was not people friendly. It kept getting more complicated, more complicated, more complicated, more complicated, and you would have to buy into it anyway. Though it was always the money. It was always here to buy into this one. It was always here to buy into this one. This like this COVID thing. You think COVID-19, they're already preparing for COVID-22. They're going to keep this going on like a Microsoft program. Like a Windows program. Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows 13. Okay, so it's going to be COVID-19, COVID-20, COVID-21, COVID-22. Why? Because they know people are going to die. And they need an excuse for people to die. And then you got the hornet bees, the murder bees. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe nature is fighting back. I'm pulling for the bees. I know. I mean, because I'm, I'm pulling for nature. Because that's the only way that man is going to get it. That mother is in charge now. Men don't get it. But mother nature is in charge now. Because men have fucked shit up completely. And you're still fucking it up. You still don't get it. You holler queen, 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 but you want bitches and hoes and shit like that. That's what you want. That's what you want. Look at where we're at now. I love myself some Megan Thee Stallion, but does every female have to be Megan Thee Stallion? Does every, does every, does every female that come out, does every female artist got to show off a of shit? Got to show off a of tits, you show off a of boobs and show off this. I show mine to honey, but I ain't showing that shit to you. This is all you get. But does every artist have to come out there? Got to suck a dick? Why does everybody got to know if I suck a dick? I don't need everybody to know that I suck a dick. Only the one who I suck this dick knows, needs to know well, if I suck a dick. But what is this? What is this shit? And all these men, oh, I got this, I got that. You know this mother, you know what these motherfuckers got? They got fucking bills right now. Cause ain't nobody working, ain't nobody clubbing, ain't nobody doing any gigs. So they got motherfucking bills. All this, all their stimulus money came from the record label that gave them the money to put out some hype, to put out this shit. And they have to work. They're slaves to the industry. They're slaves to the label. They have to work. So they got all these big cars and all this big house and all this big this and big that and all these chains and shit like that. And you know what they got right now? They got fucking bills. Everybody got fucking bills because that shit's real. That shit's real. Businesses have shut down. Industry has shut down. Everything is shut down. Ain't nobody making no money. You see these, you just you see these guys and be like, look at no fits. Like Diddy, you know I love you. But look at like look at all these guys. You're like, look at can't, can't nobody get to the barbershop or anything like that. So yeah, hell yeah, I'm showing my roots. What the fuck? But I got some Revlon in there, so I can turn around and do that shit myself if I want to. Because I'm a do-it-herself chick. Just like these bitches don't know how you know how to suck a dick, but you can't cook. Bitch, you're worthless. I ain't trying to be funny. I ain't trying to be funny, but right now, if you're home by yourself on the inside, what the fuck is sucking a dick going to do? You know what I'm saying? Oh, you going to get you some money? You going to get you some money from some old motherfucker who like just want to just need, just need both his heads rubbed and shit like that. But what happens when that shit get old? And what happens if one of these motherfuckers got COVID or got some type of thing that breaks down your immunity system? All that money and that sucking a dick and whatever ain't going to make a goddamn bit of a difference then, will it? While you up there dying on your bed, you think they're going to be around? No, not at all. Because it was just a transaction. There was no love. You got to bring some compassion back in this shit. You got to bring some love back in this shit. We've lost a love. We've lost a love in the industry. We've lost a love in the in the music industry. We've lost a love in the uh, business industry. We've lost a love in the medical profession. Because the medical profession is about money. I've always told you that the biggest drug dealers is the FDA. The biggest drug dealers is the FDA. And the, uh, um, what you call it? Who? World Health Organization? Shh. Well, 
World Health Organization clearly is not doing this job since, you know, the whole earth is fucked up and dying. So, you know, how, 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 how would President Dolly say, you're fired. You know, you're, you're fired. You're not doing your job. I can't, I, I just, why me, Lord? I do that a lot. I, why me? Why me? But who else can do this? Who else, who else can, who else can edutain you like this? Who else can give you real life shit that you need to hear and do it with such uh seriousness and compassion and humor? You got to laugh. I mean, I got to I got to laugh a little bit at the fact that, you know, it wasn't funny at all. But I got to laugh at the fact, you know, like there's nothing like sitting on a toilet bowl amongst a mound of shit that just makes everything so clear. I mean, you know, who would who would make that up? Why would I ever make that up? I never want to go through that again. And it's because of that. That my ass is going to be staying on the inside. It's because of that last night. I ain't going to the beach the whole goddamn summer. And I'm a beach chick. You know I'm beach till the cows come home. But it was because of that last night, I'm like, I mean, it's, like, it's going to be a fight every day. But I have to remember that fight that I had last night for my life. And that fight that I had for my life last night should always supersede the fight that I want to go outside and play. I want to go outside and do things. I want to go outside and um uh, uh I just want to go out and play and be amongst people. I'm not saying I'm not saying that for five minutes. I mean, I'm not saying like to be so locked in that you feel like you're in a jail because you do, we do, we do, we do. We feel we're all in prison now in some kind of way. But you know what? There's worse prisons. So don't don't feel like I've been in prison. I've seen some people. I've been in prison. But you know what? You know that your your yours is a comfortable prison. You're in home. You're in house arrest. That's not such a bad thing, considering like if you were in prison overseas somewhere and you were without no food, no water, no shit paper, no nothing. You know. So there's things can get worse. Always remember, things can get worse. I mean, trust me, this summer they will. But uh. I'm just saying though, I can, you know, I want to go outside and play. I'm looking at the sun. I mean, the sun shines in my bedroom every day. I can go outside on my porch and just sit for a minute, for a minute. But I've been telling you for years, the sun, man, I've been tan. I go outside and I tan like really fast. I'm a black person. I'm a black chick. You know, usually blacks don't tan that fast. I've been tanning fast for like the last couple of years. So I knew the sun radiation in itself was changing. The sun was changing. Maybe I thought it was just sun. Maybe it was just a 5G towers. I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit of both. But anybody tell you that this 5G shit is not real, you know it's real. It's on your phone. They talk about it. It's on your TV. You got 5G in your house, whether you knew it or not. You do. You got Spectrum, you got 5G. You got a phone, you got Samsung, you got T-Mobile. Whenever you got 5G, whatever your phone, you got 5G. So, uh, uh, and, you, and you know how quirky equipment is. Think about this for a minute. Think about, think about the most amazing technology that they've had for years. The most amazing technology ever. Earth technology, alien technology. But you have people now, like a like a Bill Gates, who decides they want a Windows 13, 14, 15. Let's go for it. But they kind of take off the safeguards because there's something to it like, well, if we do this, some stuff could happen. We could make a hell of a lot of money. Ooh, we could make a hell of a lot of money. But some stuff could happen. But you know, they've been doing shit all the time. And some stuff could happen. Like, if we start splicing pig genes and putting different hormones into the food and stuff like that, to make the food expand, to make more food, uh, make the cows bigger, 
inject the cows and inject the pigs and inject the chickens, make them bigger, even inject the uh, fruits and stuff like that and make them bigger and we can sell it. We can make more money. Might turn around and hurt people health wise, but we can make money. I mean, really, do you really think that strawberries are supposed to be this big? Strawberries aren't as big as apples. Whenever I, start, I go to the store and I see strawberries as big as apples, I automatically go, nope. Nope. Have you ever wondered, over, maybe it's just me, noticing over the last couple of years how bananas are like heavy? You pick up some bananas. You know, you pick up bananas, bananas, bananas. But you pick up some bananas. You know, you pick up like a, 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 a stack of a pile of bananas, whatever it's called. And it feels like you're picking up a little baby. You know, it's like it's got weight to it. You feel like you're picking them up. Like, why are these bananas so heavy? What's in those motherfuckers? They have. Why are children? Why are ten year old? Why do why 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 does your six and seven year? Why is your six and seven year old having a period at six and seven? Why do kids seven and eight look like they're twenty? Why is everyone so sexual? It's all planned, man. It's all planned. It's all planned for money, for control, for power. Sex trafficking has been going on. This industry does so many things to kids you would not believe. You would not believe. They just don't do stuff to women. They do stuff to kids. There's a reason why. Again, I told you. I mean, you know, I'm giving you two parallels here. You have me and you have Wendy Williams, who both were coming up and ready at the same time. We all kind of. Vinny, if, if, if Vinny, if it's Vinny on, Vinny sometimes comes on my live. Vinny Brown, Vinny, no, Vinny can tell you. We all kind of came out of that Tom, the white Tom joining camp. I chose a different path because I was like, I ain't doing that shit. You know me. I'm like, I'm not down for this shit. I don't give a fuck about politics. I don't give a shit. This is how we do it. That's how you do it. That ain't how I do it. I always took the opportunity to say, I got a choice. If I was in it, I stayed in it because I wanted to, not because I didn't have a choice to. I will always take my choice. I will never allow anybody to tell me I don't have a choice. Anybody that tells me I don't have a choice, I will say, Fuck you, fuck your mama, fuck your daddy, fuck the broom that you rode in on, fuck your goddamn grandparents too, fuck your ancestors, fuck everybody that came in, your goddamn lineage, motherfucker, I'm gonna do me. Because I'm just that chick, hardwired, born that way, created that way, for a reason. The oracle is the oracle for a reason. I am choice. I will always believe in choice. The only time you tell me it's got to be like this, I will tell you that's a lie. So when you say father, 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 I will holler mother. Because while you hollering father, I'm looking at, but where does our fruit come from? What are the trees growing out of? The ground, the earth, mother earth, mother nature. Why can't you say the word mother? Maybe if we started adding that more, we would have more compassion in our life. Maybe if we started taking serious instead of all this mankind shit and what man says. And I'm not saying some of the stuff that man is not, it's not, it's, 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 it's all wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm not bashing men. But I'm bashing you when you are out of balance. You are out, this whole thing is because mankind is out of balance balance and it's taken out the compassion it's a passion for control it's a passion for greed it's a passion for money it's a passion for power you just gotta have it you just gotta flex you want to know who's the biggest flex she who births you out the earth can get rid of all the people and still be here. The animals will be here because they get it. That's why I say you ever notice whenever there's tsunamis and shit like that. And I mean, even, and even, you start doing that. This is a good time to do that. Watch the animals right now if, you, if and when you do go out. Watch the animals. The animals will always let you know when a tsunami's getting ready to hit, when an earthquake's getting ready to hit, when a, you know, be, you know be, the, the ants. I watch the ants. 
Am I, why should, I can see when they're agitated and shit like that that something's happening. When I see the ants like really, really, really agitated, I know something. I've had, I've had, for the last couple of weeks, I've had hornets come in my house. I don't know, synchronicities or whatever. I don't know. You know, you, I got a post. Big ass hornet came in my house. Big ass, I stepped on it. I heard it. I thought it was outside, but I didn't know, but I heard it. But I'm like, what the hell? I was walking, I stepped on it. Luckily, we both survived. Big ass hornet. And I'm not one for bee. I mean, like, you know, like mosquitoes. I get like, you know, mosquitoes. I don't do bee stings and hornet stings. I don't get like super, like how some people do, like super like going to shock and, and, and they got to get the shots and stuff like that. But I was like swell up. I mean, bee, bee stings and hornet stings are not good for me. If anybody, they're not good for me. So, uh, but I stepped on that sucker. But we both survived and it was, you know. I took it outside. Maybe that was a cue. Maybe that was a cue to somebody. Because yesterday I felt like a lot of shade coming my way. And I made a vent about that. I made a post about that. That people need to get the fuck off off my dick. They really do. Because for some reason, that I, I, you know, I'm just doing me. I love y'all. And I do my thing. I might just get one person on my YouTube channel. But my whole thing is I'm not for the masses. I am not for the masses. I don't need the masses right now. Some people go do so much for fame. They buy their numbers. They buy the, oh, they got, they got 2,000 views. No, they probably got about 20 views, but they paid for the rest of them. You know, if I bought, if I decided I wanted to spend my money buying views, I could do that too. Easily. It's easy to buy views. I'm not paying for shit. I'm cheap. I'm not buying a view. You either like me or you don't. I don't give a fuck. I'm not for everybody. I'm for whoever's supposed to listen to me. That much I know. And I really don't care. This may sound braggadocious or whatever. It's not. Because I love y'all. But I re but I have learned to realize that I really don't care if everybody's eyes are on me. I've got one set of eyes that are on me. That I must say it's enough for me. His eyes are always on. Always. Always. I said, I mean, don't get me wrong. I said that like, Ugh. it's not like that. I mean, I'm glad his eyes are always on me because he he's watched me for a while. Weird story. True story. He's watched me for a while. He watches my moves. He watches everything I does. We mimic each other a little bit. If you pay attention, you'll see it. We do, but we have a, our, our mission is, I'm going to a little personal story and then I'm going to get back. Oh. That pain, I feel, you know, like, like, you know, that flu pain when you've been hit by a truck. Like, I was, oh, man. I mean, I didn't throw up, but the whole body, I mean, I lost my, my, my body, like, like my, my bowels just like, I mean, I guess, well, you know what, like, what does, what, does, what does they say, like, when you get, when you die, when you get ready to die, like, your bowels will just, like, explode or shut down like that, like, I guess that's what it was, but, uh, you know, he watches me, he's been watching me for a while, and he's been telling me things, and I'm like, I don't believe that, I don't, I don't buy that shit, I don't. This is weird. This is like, no. What? I've been trying to call this nigga forever. And, and. Why are you calling me now and I'm on my live? I got to call, I got to call you back because I'm in the middle of something. Finally, I guess you living. I guess your happy little ass living. I've been trying to call you for two goddamn weeks or so. And you ain't picking up the goddamn, I'm sorry, y'all. But like, what? 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 Say something. Oh, I won't put you on live then. I'm sorry. I mean, can I put you on live real quick just to say this so they not... Okay. This is my friend Bobby Holiday. You've heard me talk about him. Like, I'm sorry, I've been trying to call him for because I've been trying, trying. You know, you, I, he has given me a taste of how I. He says I never call, I never do anything. You know, my the people who know me know I will disappear. I'll disappear on it. I will like disappear and don't give a shit. I think it's like a couple of days and it'll be like a month or two. What are you doing? I knew some. What are you What are you doing in the hospital? What are you doing in the hospital? Okay. Man, are you ready? Should I should I should I take you off live now? Because I got you on speaker. Does it, it, nobody everybody doesn't need to know this. Should I call you back? 
you you probably want to take me off. <laughs> I don't know if you're okay. You know, well, you know what? Because I don't want to do, I don't want to do disrespectful. Let me jump off on my pee. Can I call you like right back? I swear, in like ten minutes. Are we good for ten minutes? Are you so? Are you lit? Like, uh, 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 well, you you explain to me in ten minutes. I swear to you, I you know, like you're not critical. You're not dying right now, right? <sighs> Bro, you don't even know. We'll talk. I'll call you in 10 minutes because I like almost died like last night. This shit's like fucked up. I'm like fucked up from last night. I told you. You remember when I, t this is the one I told you. Wait a minute. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to call you back. But I want you, I want you, I want you to verify. I want you to, I want you to verify, Bobby. I want you to verify to my audience. Four years ago, four years ago, about two o'clock in the morning, I'm calling him up in a panic. Because I'm calling because I'm seeing like some shit. I'm having a vision of some horrible shit happening, right? Yes, right. She did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. And and he's saying just calm down. To say it's, it's it's gonna be all right. And I'm like Bobby. I'm like I'm like I'm getting in panic. Like I am. Like I was when I first got. I'm like in a panic. Like oh god. Oh shit. You know. Like it's just. I just, I just had this, I just said, Bobby, I was like, oh, you know, and I'm, I'm panicking. He's trying to calm me down. It's like about two o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. She did not believe what we all found out to be true. She didn't believe in the, she didn't want, she believed that people were going to elect Donald Trump. And I was like, there's no way people in America are going to do that. And they did it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, she, she, has, she has been. You stupid motherfuckers. No. Mechanics <laughs> ever since, and I don't blame her because. I never thought that would happen. <laughs> and you know what? I, 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 we'll talk, but it's like, I've had that vision again and that bothers me because it's like, we don't you know, need, we don't need more of this. We can't last with more of this. It, it, it's one thing to see it happen and witness it happen. Now it's like, okay, folks, what are you going to do about it? Yeah. I'm like, I don't know why everybody is thinking that. Well, you can't be beat. You're going to be beat at all. I'm like, really? We voted people in office all the time. Why is he not able to be thrown out? Really? Out of all the people that are smart, this is the one that you see? This guy. <laughs> I have never witnessed such insanity. And I, I can't make. Even in my Piscean state, I can't make no lie. I can't make no rhyme or, I mean, I can, but it's like, it's not a pretty one. I'm just, I'm just, I'm going to call you back in 10 minutes. I love you. I'm going to call you right back. Okay. All right. All right. All right okay. okay. All right. So here we go again. You want to talk about visions? People talk about visions. I've had visions as a child. Everybody's having visions now, right? What? Okay, whatever. Fuck. Everybody, you know, it's trendy. It's trendy to have a vision. Do you have a vision? I have a vision. People do shit and then it starts to be a trend. And then next thing you know, everybody's having it. You know, I know I have a vision. I know he has a vision. I know my vision is real. I know his vision is real. It's ironic that our visions sink. He says they're supposed to. I didn't believe that. I'm seeing more and more every day, clearly. I'm seeing, you know, regardless, he wasn't going to go away. He wasn't going to let it go, whether I was going to let it go or not. He was just going to like, she ain't going to never get it. She ain't going to never get it. How can I get it? It looks weird. This shit, your vision, I mean, outside of the other part of your vision, this vision you have looks weird. Like, man, yeah, people ain't ready for that. But are people ready for this? Are people ready for this? At least our vision, we're really trying to bring the generations together to do something positive, to create a positive world for our children where they can have food, where they can have a, even, where they can even have a planet. You know what I'm saying? Where everybody is not in gas masks and shit like that. Instead of an ocean full of trash and full of plastic, instead of food, 
that's full of toxins and metals. Have you ever wondered, and I've wondered for a while, those of you who microwave, correct me if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. Have you ever noticed, because you know you don't put metal in a microwave. It'll pop it, it'll catch on fire and shit like that. But have you ever noticed you can be microwaving your chicken that you get from wherever, you know, the places that you get out, it's already made and stuff like that. And you put your chicken in the microwave and that should be popping. Pop, 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 stop, pop, 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 pop. Have you ever noticed that? Pay attention, you might not even think about it. Oh, you do. I know. I see. That's the thing. I notice everything. People think I don't know this shit. People think I'm in La La Land. I, I, I'm not gonna say it, I'm not. But I know. I, yeah. Now, I have tried to get away from that thing. Or I have literally, because I'm bored easily. I have tried to get away from that oracle terminology, that oracle title, forever. And it keeps coming back. When it's yours, when it's you, when it's your life, you can't run from you. You can never run from you. That shit will come back. Just like this mission that I'm on. Just like this vision. I wasn't going to run away from that. I mean I, I mean, I was running away from that. I was running away from that. And it, every time I would run, it was like I'd go take the long way around just to get right back to the same place. The same person. The same thing. The same mission, the same vision. And visions aren't always nice, man. So sorry. Visions are my little pot belly. Like all my I'm wet. It's like I've only got this is only like about I've only got like gained like about five pounds since I came out of the hospital. What I went in the hospital like about 128, and then you know, four days later out of the ICU, I was down to 118. So I lost what like 10 pounds? And um 10 pounds 10, 10 or 12 pounds or so. Three days, four days in the ICU. How did that happen just that fast? I've only gained like about five back, but it's like, pfft, makes me look like I'm pregnant. But um, uh, it, but in any event, you, visions are not all just happy, nice dreams. You know, like, this is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. I know you know that song and that video looks all nice where you got everybody dancing and singing. We're all happy and, you know, kumbaya and shit like that. But it ain't like that in real life. It's like, you know, it is a dawning of the age of Aquarius. That is true. The, the, the mechanics of it, the physics of it, the physiology of it, the genealogy of it, the, the, uh, the astrology, astronomy, the sciences of it, sacred geometry of it. Yeah, it's true. The planet shifting, all that, the planets aligning, all of this is one thing. All of this is one thing leading to stuff we have never seen before in our lives what does it mean it means you've got to change you've got to change your mindset you got to change from the stuff that you used to do because that stuff is dead and dying and if you don't change you're gonna die with it see if i don't change from being hard-headed i'm gonna die with it I'm being protected, but I can only be protected so much. God can only do so much. If you choose to be stupid, now I'm not saying it was stupid that I would, but it was kind of, because again, I want to go and play. I want to go and sit by the trees. I'm going to sit in the park. I should have known. I thought it was a blessing. But I should have thought that, she, and I, for a brief second, I thought it was weird too, but I thought it was a blessing. I'm in the park for two days and ain't nobody out here. And I'd seen people for like the, the other week when I went, I know, for the, the other week when I went out. See, I went out too damn much. I went out so that, you know, so I, I got a little bit of, you know, it's, 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 it's just kind of like, you know, Saturn. We're getting, we're doing like hashtag living astrology right now. I told you Saturn, uh, Saturn, whatever you call it. Saturn, I mean, Saturn, I call it Saturn. Saturn energy on my side is so kind of more of Saturn is Saturn. Saturn ain't no joke. Saturn, what Saturn is about boundaries and restrictions and, 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 and structure and shit like that. Uh, and some look at Saturn like the devil and stuff like that, but no, Saturn's just real as fuck. <laughs> Saturn was just real as fuck. And that would have been my mommy. My mommy was real as fuck. 
you know, she had that illusion, like, you know, she's sweet little, my mommy was a little bit short, she was an inch shorter than me, my daddy, now you can see that hefty Leo, that, that Jupiter energy, that's my dad, my dad's like, oh, I'm gonna protect my daughter, oh, you got something to say about my daughter, I will kill you, nigga, you don't touch my daughter, you don't mess with my daughter, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't bother the baby, this is my baby, this is my baby, love my baby, I will lift my baby up, because I'm proud of my baby, my baby's me, my baby's my little mini me, she like me, I am. I'm more like my daddy than my mom. My mom was just, you know, you know, you you've seen the like, you know, her and a friend, you know, in the in the in the Eastern Star has when she's got her shoes kicked off and the little jean slims, you know. None of these bitches in, in in Hollywood got fashion on my mom. My mom was the fashionista. Okay, my dad was a fashionista too. Shit, both of them. They had they had clothes out the max. My dad would always love me to pick out his clothes and stuff like that. So I was I found it cute that you know he thought that my talents were like good at picking shit out because my dad. All his clothes. It didn't matter what I picked out. All his clothes. Y'all know those. Those of y'all who seen my dad back in the day, you know that Robert Jones was sharp. Oh, he was sharp. Mommy was sharp. Francis Ruth Jones was sharp. And here they come having a kid, and t all she wants is just t-shirts and jeans. Like I ain't got time for all that. Just t-shirts and jeans, hippie. I could have had all the clothes. I could have had all those clothes. I didn't. I could afford all those clothes. Man, I'd spend way too much money at the Gap. What was I doing that for? Take my friends to the Gap. Why was I doing that? Mommy said, you're going to wish you had that money one day. She was right. She was right. She was right. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is this Saturn energy ain't no joke. And uh, this is what's happening right now. You're getting the real, especially this week, you're getting the realness of it. You may not see it. You may not believe it. But you're getting the realness of it. Last night was a very real moment for me. Because I've been trying to tell you people this shit is real. And I was getting so uh, uh, depressed and so, uh, and I don't need to go into depression again. I mean, again, I'm living my best life. What the fuck am I going to depression for? For other people? What is wrong with you, chick? No, no, no. That's what he said. Stay focused. And I've watched him, you know, because he has people come at him all day, every day on stupid shit. They hate him. They despise him. They come at him. They think he's crazy. They think he's this. They think he's that. A lot of this shit he just does just to fuck with people's heads. He is, he might be a little bit cuckoo, but are we all? But I love it though. He's a genius. Geniuses think differently than other people. I'm a, I'm, you know, I'm a sucker for a genius. I am. Forget the dick. I'm in love with genius. Don't get me wrong though. You know, that's the other thing is important too, but everything is in time. Why am I getting personal? And see, even when that, I said that, it was like, that looks so weird. When you think about it and you look at that shit and like, oh my God, not even possible. And he's like, yeah, it's possible. I'm like, no, it's not. It's been this fight for like about three or four years. Neither here nor there. I'm getting personal now. Back to what we're doing though. And notice how like, I'm like a nun. I'm sitting here like a nun for the last three, four, five, six, seven years. Can't nobody get to me. Can't nobody touch. Why? Anytime anybody gets close, somehow they disappear. Like, that ain't happening. That ain't happening. With this cock blocking ass. Getting personal again. Let's get back to this. Because I got to call back my friend. No, I'm not talking about that. That's, that's the friend. I love Bobby. But you know who I'm talking about. Or you do or you don't. I don't know. It doesn't matter. You'll see. For everybody to think, it's just all in her head. Because there's some people, like I said, I was getting trolled. And some people think, it's all in her head. Like they're, like they're, trying, to make, they're trying to make their channels off of me. They're plugged into my story and they're plugged into me, but then they turn around and want to troll me. That's why if you watch on my YouTube channel and I post it up, if you watch on my YouTube channel, you know, I post it about so G-O-M, G-O-M-D, you know, like, you know, I did a J. Cole on, get off my dick, get off my dick, you know, because, you know, y'all be post, you, 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 you be watching me. And then you take shit from me, and then you flip stuff around, and then you make it about you, and then you say, I'm delusional, and it's something out of my head. I know who the fuck I'm talking to. That's not that shit in my head, like, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if I do, this, is this some telepathy? Of course it's, of course it's some telepathy going on, of course. But it's not I always telepathy. It's like, when I'm looking at her goddamn, I'm like, you know what? I shit, I'm looking at the phone. I'm like, I know who I'm fucking talking to. How dare you? 
I'm not talking to none of y'all, but it's like some of these troll ass motherfuckers, you know, on uh, uh that be doing astrology and tarot and shit like that. And I'm like, you know, because Pisces feel we feel it. We can sense the hate. We may not say it, but we can sense the hate and sense the shade. And what I don't like is when people come at me and I've never done anything to you. And I even tried to help you. But now you want to turn around and shade me? And try to throw me under some bus that's not even there? You don't even know the type of person that I am and can be. I'm the type of person that I will not cry and run away. I will, if I start crying, there's two things you better do. You better either hug me or run for cover, motherfucker. Run, Forrest, run. Because I'm about to fuck somebody up. And I know, I, you know, I, you, I, you, I don't want to do that. That's tiresome. It's old. Y'all hear my story, but you don't hear it. Hear my poem to Colin. Hear my poem to Laura that she's sick with it. Hear it. My story is in my, my story is in my poems, in my music. None of that shit's made up. No ghost riders. No nothing. That's life. I'm not being paid to do this shit. I pay me. And yet I'm not missing any money. And yet I'm not missing any food. And yet I'm not missing any bills. How is she taking care of herself? And she's not even in any cliques or, gr uh, or clubs or groups or anything like that. How is she taking care of herself? All this for money. Now they're amping up the vaccines. All vaccines, not some. All vaccines give you a part of what is curing to cure it. So if you're taking the flu vaccine, they're going to give you the flu. A little bit of it. You're taking the pneumonia vaccine, they're going to give you pneumonia. A little bit of it. You're taking the coronavirus vaccine, they're going to give you a little bit of that virus. A little bit of it. To get your body used to it. And say, say it's, in a, it's in a control, we're doing it in a controlled doses to get your body amped up and ready for it. But if your body's already fucked up, the only thing it's going to make you do is get sicker and get worse. I've had a friend. I had a cheerleader friend who, you know, she 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 took the flu vaccine uh, years, 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 years ago. She was fine. She was healthy. And then she turned around and got paralyzed for like about a year or so. Right off the bat, I'm like, I'm never taking that shit. Because I know that random, random, just, just someone I knew. Doesn't mean it's random, could be happening to other people, but you don't hear what's happening all over the world or to everybody else, but you hear what happens to people around you. That's why I said when I hear people talk about how the COVID-19 COVID is just a hoax, ain't no hoax about that. Maybe the numbers were inflated. I don't know. Maybe not. They probably are to some degree, but then again, maybe not. Because right now, what I'm thinking more so is that they really don't want you to know the numbers. Because if you knew the especially now, because if you knew the numbers, then you wouldn't be so free to go outside. Because for a minute, they panicked. For a minute, President Dum Dum panicked. He was like, "Oh shit, I don't have control of this." You never had control of this. That's the point that you don't get. This has been out of your control since the time you step in the office. I had to like sit back and go, okay, well, God's plan. Or God is this plan. I don't know. Whatever the game plan is, it's a plan. Like, okay, well, this is how it's gonna go down. This is gonna be this is gonna be the pretty little dust that breaks America down. Because America, you've been you've been up for a breakdown for a long time. You've been up. 
you've been setting up, you've been setting yourself up for a whooping of epic proportion. You have, you've got so much karma. America and America's, your, with your braggadocious, egotistical, ain't nobody better than us. It's just us. It's our us. Red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. We good Christians. We good Americans. We good everything. You got so much shit in your history that you have lied about, that you have denied about, that you have twisted shit around. Why well, we didn't have anything to do with that. But you benefited from it, though. But you benefited from it, though. But you benefited from it, though. And you still put this nigga up here. Remind you, color not specific. Color not specific. So I'll be talking about white people too when I'll be saying niggas that it's that stupid, dastardly, ignorant type of mentality that just don't get it. Hey, I come over on the Mayflower. I don't give a fuck if you come over on the Mayflower. You know what a lot of these people have? What you know what the what the real deal is about the Mayflower? A lot of weak we came around trying to get religious freedom and all this and all that, but you came over here and you don't do it. You don't do it. You don't allow other people to have that freedom. You don't do it. You know why? Because you were the same motherfuckers that England kicked out. Let's be real about it. A lot of these people that came over to Mayflower, these were the insane, crazy motherfuckers that actually, we came looking for freedom. No. England kicked your happy little crazy, disease-ridden, nutty asses out your country. They didn't know that crazy people survive anything. And it's true. You know, a crazy person will survive. You know, like, look, look at Michael Myers. Michael Myers, they killed Michael Myers 10, 50,000 times. He still came back like crazy people can survive everything. So let's be real. Let's get to those real stories about the Mayflower, some of those purebred people who came over from England and shit like that. There were some of the most disease ridden, they had syphilis and everything else. This is what, this is, this is what started killing off the Native American population. They brought their little disease, happy little ass over. Their crazy little mentality ass over. They're insane insanity. England was like surprised that these motherfuckers made it. Okay, well then let's make some money. Let's tax them. Let's, you know, then, then the whole story changed. So y'all don't get it. I'm a, like, I'm a poli sci major, man. I'm a poli sci and history major. I'm up into that shit. You can't tell me shit and act like, you know, I don't know. Like, I'm just gonna believe this, like Nigga, you know I already read this shit, right? You know I've studied this shit. I've been studying this shit all my life. So, okay, yeah, okay, all right, fine, okay, okay. And forget it, I got this DNA code written in my heart, in my soul, in me. So it's like, I've already got this stuff in me. So I've got these visions and everything. I can look at some stuff. And then the universe, source or whatever, show me the clearer picture of what it really is. So please, miss me with that. But I'm just saying, you've got these same people now. Talk about freedom all and all this stuff, but these are the same type of people that's going to kill a security guard because he says, put on a mask. You're going to kill a black security guard in, 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 in Georgia. You're going to kill a security guard because you feel like your freedom is being taken. You're going to kill a black security You hate black people so much, so much, that everything Trump does is better than anything that Obama's ever done. This is how much racism we have in America. And it's not hidden. It's in our faces every day. This shows it right there. The fact that you honestly think that this motherfucker is a better president than President Obama ever was. I'm not saying that man did everything right. I know he didn't. But what I do know is that America proved to itself that in your eyes, no black man, no matter how brilliant, no matter how elite, no matter how esteemed, no matter how intelligent, no matter how knowledgeable, no matter how educated, no matter how powerful he is, no black, no nigga, no black nigga is better than any stupid low life cracker. And you know what? Mother's going to bust your ass for that. Because all children are mother's children. Not at all. All children are God's children. Well, all children are mother's children. And when you despise her best, 
Man can't help you. And fa God loves to watch. Let, let me, I told you that one time before. Father loves to watch. This mom that be working. Dad loves to watch. I know that because, you know, I, like, he loves to watch. He likes to see what I'm going to do. What you going to do? What you going to do, babe? What you going to do? I don't know yet. I'm contemplating. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do me. I'm going to call my friend back. I'm pretty sure somebody's like, like I would have left somebody on red because, you know, like, why she ain't answering me? Because I'm on my live. I'm doing my live. Everybody wants to, you know, reach out to me. I'm doing my live. But I'm here, though. I'm here. I'm glad. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for today. I'm so thankful for this day. I am so thankful for this day. Uh, I'm so thankful to hear that my friend is alive. It's, you know, so we're, we're, we're both thankful that, you know, we have survived another bout of stupidity, of stuff that, you know, wasn't even our fault. It's not my fault that the coronavirus is out there. It's not my fault that uh, 5G is out there. It is what it is. But what you want to do about it? And this is what it's about right now. What are you going to do? Not what God is going to do. Ask not what God can do for you. What can you do? Not for God, but what can you do for yourself? What can you do? Can you save yourself? Can you think for yourself? Can you see for yourself? Can you speak for yourself? Do you need the pastor to tell you how you need to live? Then you a fool. You paying the pastor, but you can't pay your bills. Pastor been balling off you forever. But what did you get out of it? These pastors are pimps, just like the politicians. They're pimps. I'm not saying all of them. Most of them. It's all about money, honey. If it ain't about money, you heard the song, if it ain't about money, it's all about money. They fuck up the food for money. They fuck up the waters for money. They fuck up the technology for money. They fuck up the medicines for money. They fuck up people, kill people for money. It's beautiful outside, but it's not beautiful outside. And they're telling you to go outside for money. Because people will die, decrease the population, make more money. That's what the Republican Party does. That's why they start wars. Decrease the population, bring in more money. Decrease the population, bring in more money. Decrease the population, bring in more money. It's been a plan forever. So you go ahead and believe if you want to. And those of you who think this shit is a hoax, you go ahead and believe. The biggest sin is going to come on your head when this shit happens to you. And that reality check is coming. Your wake up call is coming because you're going to find it happen to you. I guarantee you no one is going to get out of this before you die without knowing, God damn it, I was a fool. Yup. Yup. That's my, if, if, if there's such a thing as like, a, I don't want to call it a vengeance. But like, uh, like I might told you so moment, like I told you so. That's going to be my told you so moment. When it happens to you, you will know. And I'll feel it. And I might shed a tear. I might laugh. I don't know. It depends on how I feel at, the, at that moment. Because, you know, I, I can be very, very good. <laughs> and I can be the devil. I mean, I'm the blend. I am the blend. I, I'm not going to lie about that. I am what I am. I am that I am. I don't care. I'm thankful for it's a good thing. I better be. Especially now. How could I be doing this if I wasn't? So I'm the blend. Right in front of you. Right in front of you. Take me as I am or don't. It's okay too. But just know this as I go today. Like really. Like take this shit serious. If you don't take anything I say serious. Take this serious. That you know they've got some stuff going on right now that's like not it's, it's not. Remember you can have a person with full-blown AIDS that looks absolutely handsome and beautiful, but they will kill you dead, kill you stone dead. America has full-blown AIDS right now. <laughs> America has full-blown AIDS, and it's spread it all over the world. <laughs> and that AIDS is called Corona and or 5G. Viruses wear down your immunity system. Radiation wear down your immunity system. You can research and they'll say, well, they'll tell you 5G is definitely out there. But they'll say, well, we, well, we don't really have a record of it really. Do. They're going to say that. They're going to say that.
say that we really don't have a record so if you search for it you gotta like pay attention to what you're searching for and i'm gonna give you this analogy and i'm gonna jump off you gotta stay gonna say it. we really don't because they'll tell you 5g's out there we really don't think it's going to do the you know you'll see report we really don't think so it's like there's a little bit of opening they're not saying 100 percent that they don't know that it's not going to do anything but it's not no we really don't think that we just no we we don't really have anything on that and blah 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 blah. they'll do a trump on you when you start looking about 5g but again let me tell you what radiation does for a fact and this you know for a fact remember those of you who get x-rays and shit like that let's just break it down because this is me i'm not i'm not i'm not like these other readers or theor, theor, theorists or whatever i'm not them i break this shit down to the element elemental you know because i'm an elemental baby you know i'm an element i'm about the elements you know i break it down elementary so you can get the shit you got me so you can get the shit let's break it down what radiation does remember when you get these exams and stuff like that you know mammograms this that blah 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 blah, blah which you know like they tell you to get a mammogram i ain't doing that shit not anyway fuck no I have fibrosis. I've had fibrocystic breasts forever. So I know I got fibroids in my breast. I don't need I don't need to get a mammogram every year for you to tell me I got motherfucking fibro. I mean, I know that already. Since you know we done gone through, I didn't had like five I didn't had a fibroid to remove and this, that, blah, 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 blah. I got fibro I got big breasts. I have fibrocystic breasts, whatever. But my point is trying to make that the more you get the more radiation you get, it affects you. That's why, case in point, and you know that, and you see this every time you go into a hospital, if you don't take note of that. When you go into a hospital for any type of x-ray, you're in the x-ray, you're getting the x-ray. Where's the person, where's the technician? Behind a glass or behind some iron stuff, behind something that's blocking the radiation from them. It's not because their equipment is back there that they need to do that. They're blocking the radiation that you're getting from them. Hear what I just said? Can you see what I just said? They are blocking the radiation that you're getting from taking your mammogram or whatever x-ray you're getting from them. Now you're going, well, 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 damn. That's right. But, but don't panic. Because, you know, you got to get x-rays for whatever reason. Break your arm, break your leg, something's going on with your body, you're going to get x-rays. They're blocking that shit out from them. It's because that's their job. They do this every day, all day. That's their job. So they can't afford to get radiation all day, every day, helping other people, you know, to get to get their x-rays. That's their job. A little radiation? They ain't going to do anything. So they say. I don't know. A lot of radiation will kill you stone dead, will break down your physical structure, will break down your DNA structure, will break down your immunity. Fuck that stupid ass crackhead nigga who says, ain't no such thing as immunity. Do you know what? Y'all won't listen to a crackhead and y'all stupid. Do that. I mean, okay, I shouldn't call him crack. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't care. I don't know. I don't care. But I'm saying, like, that's crack mentality. You know, I, I don't deal with crack mentality. Some people don't do crack who only that that have a crack, but they still have a crack. They're crackish. You know that crackish mentality when you see it. That crack mentality, when like. But you listen to people like that, though. Okay, do that. And what have they done for the world? What have they done for themselves? What are they doing? You know, and it's funny thing, these people want to get up in my life. Listen, what's that song that you don't turn, you don't, you don't trade a dime for a penny? I'm not trading no dime for a penny. I don't have a dime. I have a quarter. I have a dollar bill. I have a billion dollar bill. I'm not going to trade that in for a penny. I'm good with who I got. I'm, I'm, we're good. And we're on the same mission. We're on the same team. I actually do need someone like that because I actually listen to him. I don't listen to anybody. You know, even my best niece know I don't listen to anybody because I'm a do me. But I have learned to listen to him. So the universe sources put someone in my life that, you know, finally I'm like, okay. All right. Okay. 
And it's odd because it looks in a way like I would have never, I would have never met, I would have, I would in a million years, I would have never thought, if you had to bet me a million dollars that my life was going to be the way it is right now, I would have lost all, I would have lost every cent. I'm like, no, no, no. So if anybody, you know, I'm just throwing that out there. If anybody bet him some money that he couldn't do this shit, pay him. You owe him because he did it. He did this shit. He did this shit. So anyway. What I'm trying to say is the radiation thing. A little bit of radiation won't kill you. A lot of radiation will kill you dead. They're not going to tell you this because it's money. They've invested all this money in the 5G technology. So they're going to turn on a button. They've already turned on a button. And that's why you see people dropping like flies. You hear about the quick deaths. You hear about, you know, you getting, it's, it's, it's a good, not to say that's a story. Don't get me wrong. Hear me what I'm saying. But it's media, and it is news. You hear about the painful deaths and this and that and blah, 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 blah. It makes good news. I'm not saying it's not true. I'm not. Probably is. But what I'm saying is it makes good news. It makes better news than for you to hear about the quick deaths. You do your research on the quick deaths. People who die quick. They just fast. They're like, it's like like they're okay one day and then they're and they're and they're gone the next day. I had that moment last night. Like I was I was fine for like days. And then like I almost wasn't here. Like really, I almost wasn't here. You know, if you've ever had that moment, that hardcore near death moment that you've been conscious of it, you know when it's like, I am dying right now. Oh, I didn't expect this. Had I known, I wouldn't have been out there doing all this shit. I mean, I knew, but had I known, I would have been like just freely, like just being out there. I thought that I could be outside for like a half hour or so. I thought that I could be outside walking in nature. For about a half. I thought that I could, you know, like, I mean, you know, you can't help some things you can't help. You have to buy food and shit like this. But you know what? I'm glad I got enough food for like the next couple of months because I see how this shit's getting ready to go with them opening up everything and people going to be getting worse. People going to be getting worse like crazy. People going to get sick and die like this, like that. Like it's going to be bam, 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 bam. And then it'll be all over the news and people are like, oh, what's going on? And blah, 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 blah. And then you've got those same little leaders. They got their money and shit like that. that They don't give a fuck. They're just like counting money. They're just counting dollars. They're just like, well, you know, that's sad. Yeah, they don't give a fuck about you. They don't. But yeah, you but yeah, you want to elect these people. Like, 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 like you thought that Donald Trump is gonna help you. All you people who thought that Donald, that's my man. He's gonna help us. Well, you know what? You're dying. He helped you a lot, right? Has the reality check set in? Clearly not, because you kill a black security guard who tried to tell you, put your mask on. You still got a problem with race. You still got a problem with race. You still have so much of a problem with color. This shit's going to backfire on your ass. And personally, I'm going to be glad. Because you needed to see that nobody can tell you shit. When white people get a certain way, you can't tell them shit. They know every goddamn thing to know nothing. What's worse than them is the black people who know every goddamn thing and don't know nothing. You can't tell people nothing. So you have to show them. I can tell you mother's in charge. I can tell you this is part of man's doing. Because you didn't respect the ground, the earth that you walked on, mother. The seas and the trees that are growing up and you just keep cutting down. You keep cutting down the crops and keep cutting down. And don't think about replacing. You just want to take, take, take and never place anything. Mother. And she's still trying to do her job while you're still trashing everything. Mother. And you're thinking, man, well, father's going to save us. And father, the real father is sitting back going like, I ain't going to do shit. I'm telling my wife, go for it. Go get them, baby. That's a real story. That's a real story that's being played out right now. Shoot me, believe it or not. I don't give a shit. The point is, what do I believe? I gotta do better. 
I can't tell you to like stay inside and I don't. I know it's hard. Isolation, isolating from people, that ain't nothing but a thing to me. I could give or take people, clearly. My problem is, I still want to be out in nature. I can give or take any clubs, any of that shit. I don't need to be around people. I got me. I got my few friends that I can count on one hand. I got Bay. He checks on me every day. When this quarantine thing is over, I'm headed. I am headed so far off this motherfucking coast and ain't honey. Uh, and really, I, you know what I had always said? Like when America fucks up, I got a passport. You know, I just go the fuck out the country. You done fuck that up. Done fucked up that plan. So it's like all our plans have just gone shot behind all of this. What are you learning? You're learning that you got to change. You're learning that you got to change your thinking. Stop thinking somebody or something outside of you is going to save you. Stop thinking that God is going to save you. Stop thinking that your politicians are going to save you. Stop thinking that your pastor is going to save you. Stop thinking that that job is going to save you. Now is a good time to find out you are your job. How can you, if you have to save yourself, how can you be your own superhero? How can you do that right now? You're in a sci-fi. You're in a, you're in a sci-fi movie right now you're in a superhero right now and you've got to bring that superhero and shit out of yourself you got to think you got to like have that wisdom like a superhero you got to be like i am legend you got to be like, I am legend. Like, like, what can, what, how can I figure this shit out? How can I figure this shit out? And what do I need to do? Because clearly everything else is falling apart. So I have to look at like, okay, I had to be real with myself. I can give a shit about people. We all know that. You know, I, I me, me talking to people right now is good enough for me. I ain't got to be right. I ain't got to be right out open mics or no, none of that. I mean, the times I went out there, you know, usually I, it got to a point where I'm like, Bored, it's like, oh, I ain't got time for this shit. I ain't same motherfuckers doing the same thing. If I wasn't impressed with you, then why the f you know, I ain't gonna be impressed with you now. You ain't saying shit, you ain't doing nothing. What am I gonna come out there for? Because we all fam, we ain't never been fam. Let's not lie about it, let's be truthful. That's what I love. What am I, what am I gonna do now? I'm only looking for people who I'm truthful with and who are truthful to me. I don't need no fakes, I don't need no fakes, no flakes, and no phonies. None of that. All that shit gets cut off. If I even remotely sense phoniness from you, you cut the fuck off like that. There's no dialogue. Nothing. But I have to look at myself, too. I have to look at myself and what do I need to change about me? My rebellion. I want to go out. I get it. I get you. You want to go out. I took advantage. I'm like, oh, I'm going out to get some food. And I end up at a park. Several times. Starbucks several times around people. But the fact of the matter is, I know that 5G is out there. So I, it's not like I can't act like I don't know. Whether other people want to believe it or not, I know. And that came back on me last night. You knew better. You knew better. Joshua, you were told to come in the house and close the door. By the way, look at the uh, new, the new, uh, 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 ironic too, by uh, uh, ads, uh, the new, uh, the new Just Water campaign with the new Just Water, uh, 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 like this hot pink, it's like kind of like Joshua trees or something like that. It's like inspired by Josh. I'm like, I didn't know what a Joshua tree is. So that's interesting considering the story and everything they say, but it's so beautiful. So cool. I love what Just Water's doing because it really is about, like I said, I mean, you know, it can be for those of you who can't afford it. Because they're doing good things. It's about recycling and keeping our oceans clean. And I mean, I really need my oceans clean. Because I want I don't want to eat plastic fish. I want to eat fish fish. I'm not going to say I'm ever going to be a vegetarian. I've been vegan and vegetarian. I'm more vegetarian now more than, I mean, I haven't been. Because I've been like, like you know, quarantine will make you eat anything. 
Like, I'm like, you know, they, they fed me bacon in the hospital. I have high blood pressure. Why the fuck did you feed me bacon? Bacon is the devil. Bacon is the devil. I mean, bacon is the devil. But, you know, if I ate it, if I eat it, it's like I get the, un, the, the, uh, the, uh, the cure, the natural you know, where, where like, not just the low sodium, but, like, no nitrates or nitrate. you know, the, the uncured stuff. I don't get all the other stuff like that, man, because that shit will kill you. Stone, all of it will. Everything in moderation, but I got to get rid of that, too. Because, you know, bake, everybody's got their crack. Some people's drugs, some people is sex. You know, for me, it's food. <laughs> I'm a food. So, uh, uh, they fed me bacon. Why don't you feed me bacon and I have high blood pressure? Because it's really not the sodium that will kill you. Dr. Marlene Merritt. I think that's her name. For those of you who have high blood pressure. Again, I can't 100% co-sign off on her, but she has some good You might want to you might want to pay attention to that. Dr. Marlene Merritt. She has a book called The Blood Pressure Solution. Pay attention to that because most of these medicines will kill you eventually. And I'm not trying to be stuck on these medicines. For blood pressure medicines, I remember one time before, the smart doctor, when I went years back uh, to Womack, and everybody was worried about my blood pressure. And he was saying, like, you know what? And I had was I was, like, walking in the snow and all this and all that. He's like, you know, if that was your problem, you would have been dead a long time ago. Like, you, you need, I can tell right now, you need to distress. You need to go home, drink some wine, and distress. You got too much going on. That's the doctor said that. That was five years ago. Now, five years later, I'm back in the hospital again with a blood pressure problem. But you don't know the year I've just had. The last couple of years I just had. I've had stress. I've had unsurmountable stress. Like, you know, I'm like, I've had body changes, like planet changes, like chan I've had when when everything channels through you. You know, like the lady in the crystal skull, there was this lady, the lady in the crystal, like, I want to know everything. I want to know everything. I want to know everything. And her head exploded. I didn't want to know everything, but it was like, well, you know, but you, 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 but you're going to know this too, because we're using you as a channel. So when I'm saying I'm the channel, that's not a title. Once again, it's like the oracle. That's not, the, I'm going to call myself this. People call themselves this and call themselves that for fame, for this, for that, whatever. I am that I am. Because I am that I am. And I'm just relaying a message to you. I'm the messenger and I'm the channel delivering this message to you. And if one or two people get it, then I have done my job. I'm not for the masses. The masses will kill you. The masses kill channels like me. The masses kill people like me. The people that don't like me, the business people, like, oh, we got to, like, stop her. They try to stop me, block me, you know, cut me off from business, cut me off from my job, try to cut me off from work and everything. They promote everybody else up, but they hold me down. But I'm okay, because I'm still here, and I ain't missing nothing. So I'm all right. I think I was saying a little about the story, like, you know, with me, you know, Vinny and Wendy Williams, you know, you got three people coming up, you know, co coming up out of the same camp. You know, two go one way, one goes that way. I have no regrets. I would never want to be Wendy Williams ever. I would never want that life ever. Right now, if you gave me all the money, when like, did I? When you like, no. Wendy would probably want to be like me, or maybe she's happy with her life. I hope she is, but I don't know. I don't regret none of that, cause I know me, and I know there's some stuff in this industry that I will not do. I won't ever do. That's a problem that I have right now with someone because it's like I ain't doing that. I don't. I, you do that. You you go ahead. I that name. I don't like those people. I don't care about none of those people. I don't want to be around those people. I don't know how to be fake like that. I am the type of person that if I don't care for what the Pope is saying, I will go up to the Pope and say, "You know that's some fucked up shit, right?" <gasps> people be like. I mean, come on. It's like, you know, I mean, well, let's go back. Those of you who are in the area, you know, but let's go back. Like, like with, with a wonderful friend of ours, you know, Mayor Tony Schiavone, I, you know, Tony still got my heart. He's a Pisces. We Pisces have a code, man. I don't care what you say. Pisces have a code. But, you know, Tony, yeah, Tony did some fucked up shit. Well, Fanville's fucked up. Y'all be some, y'all be doing some fucked up shit. 
You remember some of those meetings and that arts council and stuff like that? Okay, would be me. Here you go, Val. Everybody like trying to kiss everybody's ass. Everybody trying to kiss his ass. And I'm the only one in the middle of the room going like, you know that's some fucked up shit. Like, me. Everybody, Val, there she go, Val, Val. But yeah, if I email him or call him, he picks up just like that. We are cool. Who well, I wasn't cool with you fake ass motherfuckers trying to kiss ass. You didn't know, you don't know what I'm going on. You don't know like it's none and it's none of your business. I started to realize that, like, you know, hey, none of these people's business. What's going on with me? I'm still gonna be me. But I up there, up there trying to stunt. And that's why a lot of people in favor, you be trying to stunt and shit like that. I ain't got time for that shit. I'm still gonna be I'm so horrible, I'm so this, I'm so that, but when the shit hits the fan, who does everybody come to? Well, right now, I can't do nothing for you. I'm just trying to do for me. And that's what I'm supposed to do. Take care of me. Not let God take care of me while I try to take care of the masses. Take care of me. Why am I doing this? Because I am a messenger. It's a code. But I got to learn how to put that in balance. Like I said, it's like Joshua now. Getting back to the story. It's like Joshua. You know, and, and, and the plays going on. And Joshua's like, look at what's going on. It's like me, you might say, look at the trees. The trees are falling apart. Look, people are out here with no mask on. Look, I'm in a park and ain't nobody around. I should have realized with nobody around that something was going on in Fort Bragg when like a couple of weeks ago, just a few people, not a lot, a few people, kids and everything going out there, but all of a sudden nobody's around. See, I don't live on Fort Bragg, so I don't know if they've been given the edict to stay in more so than ever. I'm just like, you know, like, oh, okay, let me go, get my food, get some coffee, and let me go stroll to the park. Should have occurred to me two days in a row, ain't nobody out here. Troops just came in. So who knows what came in with them? All I know is last night I had to fight for my life. So you will never be able to tell me between COVID and uh, 5G that this is a hoax. If I remotely thought it was a hoax last night, 120% guarantee that there is something out there that we can't see that will kill you and it will happen so quick. I'm going to go before I get emotional again because I get emotional because every, because I, it, I don't scare. I'm not trying to be fearless. I'm just, you know, I just don't scare. I've just had enough things in my life, so many things in my life, that I've just learned to not just scare. I just, you know. Mm. But last night scared me. Because it made me realize how quick this stuff can happen. Like that. And how powerless people can be. Everybody's not like me. I guarantee you, 90... 5% of the people wouldn't be able to do what I did last night. So I'm thankful to that degree that I am who I am. But I'm just saying save yourself some hassle. Don't get out there. Don't look at don't look at this and think everything is fine just because they say they're opening it up. They want your money. They need your money to keep going on. They don't care if you die because guess what? You die the embalmer and the funeral home business will make money. If you die they still make money! You don't get it. It's not about your health. It's about their wealth. So don't go out there. Because you will die. And you will die quickly. And that's all I got to say. Just think about that today. When you listen to these people who say it's a hoax, their shit, their lesson hasn't come yet. But this lesson's coming to everybody. I'm me. Why would I lie to you? I have absolutely no agenda. And nobody's paying me to lie to you. No one. No one. I'm not on no label. I'm not on no, uh, I have no company pushing me. I have no, I'm not just in this for fame and shit like this. I could give a fuck about fame. If I wanted fame, I've given away and turned down more jobs and more situations than people ever have in their whole entire life. Listen, I'm up here. 
if I want fame, I got fame right now. I can talk about some stuff that can, uh, what? Like, wait a year, a year from now, you'll see. A year from now. I'm not talking about that right now. Wait and see what he says when this next project comes out. But anyway, I'm just saying that I don't, I'm not on, I'm not on no agenda trip. And I'm not on no ego trip. And I'm not on a mental illness trip. I'm just on a real tip trip. There's shit out there that will kill you and will kill you quick. Be cognizant. Be careful. Be safe. It's uncomfortable. But dead. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, you prefer dead? I get it. I want to go out and hug the trees, too. I want to go out in nature, too. There's not a cloud in the sky. And they're saying they're opening up stuff. They're warning the economy. Trump said it himself last night. We got to get these businesses back on. That's his focus. Money. Always remember whatever he says is about money. When you see this nurse and these doctors and Dr. F and all them behind him, they look at him stupid and stuff like that. Because he doesn't care. He only cares about money. You think he cares about the people? At least Obama would have cared a little bit more about the people. Trump just cares about money and the people who are lacing his pocket. That's it. That's all. If you want to turn around and vote that shit back in, okay. All right. Just remember, this gets worse. You're in a sci-fi film right now. You're in your very own sci-fi film. You're in your very own horror picture. You're in your very own purge. Who do you believe? You believe nature. Don't even believe me. Believe nature. Look at what nature is doing. Look at these trees starting to lose their integrity. Look at these pictures with the fish dying and eating plastic. Every time you put your chicken in the microwave and it pops, think about all the metals that's in that chicken. How did metals get in the food? Food doesn't pop in your microwave unless it's full of metals. And that's facts. And then remember somebody like me. With my supposedly sometimes they can send me uppity whatever ass. Who doesn't like to cry in public. I didn't even cry at my mom and my dad's funeral. But I'm up there crying in front of y'all last night. Because I mean today. Because like last night was scary. Super scary. More scarier than when I was at ICU. It was a revisit of that. It was a revisit of that same sickness. Except it happened in a matter of a couple of hours. It was so quick. It was so quick. It was like my life was being snuffed out so quick. And I had to find this power in me to fight. You've got to fight right now. If you get sick... If this happens to any of you, you got to fight, okay? Just remember that. You got to fight. You got to bring it. You 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 got to fight it. Cuz it's going to be easy to let go and just die. Now, maybe you want to. Maybe you're ready to get out of here. I don't know. Fine. Well, but if you really like me, if you're like, "No. I I want this life right now. I got stuff going on. I got stuff I can I believe I can make this shit work for me." I believe that there's somebody out there that I want to like work with and do some stuff with. Then you got to fight it because you're going to have to fight of your life. It's coming. It's not just coming to me. It's coming. And you're going to have to fight. And you're going to have to do more than just praise God. Help me God. No, you are going to have to do something. This is going to bring the power in you. This is when the God and God is in you come out. You are going to have to do something. You are going to have to 
fight. You know, even when they say like in operations and shit like that, where doctors will tell you, surgeons will tell you, the people, it's that person's attitude. It's that person's attitude that tell why why do some people make it and some people don't? Because that person's attitude, that person's strength. They were fighters. They didn't give up. They were fighters. They fought for their life. A lot of people talk that shit, but you know, you don't. And even if you do, when it happens that fast, can you can you have the presence of mind? Can you have the presence of mind as you know you are dying in that second? Can you have the presence of mind to go, no, I'm going to, I'm going to fight this shit, but then I ain't going to do the shit that got me in trouble. That's the other part. That's the part now that I got to work on. Now that I came on this side of it, what am I going to do to make sure that I don't be on that side of it again? Follow my heart. Follow my intuition. Follow what I know. Stop wasting time for sure with these other motherfuckers that don't know shit. <laughs> Stop wasting energy. I've wasted energy. So this has been a great vent session. I love y'all. I love I love I I I I love y'all so much. I do. Thank you for sharing this. Like I said, if I if one if this saves one person today, that's good. Uh, I'm gonna go. Have a good day. Stay inside. 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 Can't say it anymore. Stay inside. Let me go and call my friend. What the oh Soul School Cafe on tonight? Soul School Cafe. Obviously, it's gonna be a repeat because I was busy last night so but so school cafe on legend 107 radio shout out to melvin pisces team pisces what what melvin jordan legend 107 radio tonight uh 10 p.m i don't know whatever show he puts on this is always going to be a banger uh uh 10 p.m legend 107 radio ask alexa to play legend 107 go to legend 107 radio networks on facebook and you'll find out about it Melvin Jordan, shout out. And then Sat Friday, midnight, Eastern Standard Time, midnight, uh, ASSK Radio. Another team Pisces, what, what? Samuel Smith, uh, uh, ASSK Radio, ASSK Radio.com. Ask Alexa to play ASSK Radio. I mean, do that. Don't, don't, don't be like, oh, retarded or anything like I, I was before. When I first started, I'm like, Alexa. Play A S S K radio, and it will be bringing up some else. Alexa, play A S S K, and it would always be bringing up something. I'm like, what is up with this bitch? Alexa, play A S S K radio, and then boom, it popped up. I'm like, what the hell? She's like, bitch, why don't you just talk normally? Touche. Touche. So, you know, ask Alexa to play ASSK Radio tomorrow night at midnight, Friday night at midnight, the bewitching hour, Eastern Standard Time. Then Saturday, you got two channels because you got, you know, WGLRO, where you can get some of that old school funk and some blues and blah, 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 and all of that. You know, so if you want that type of vibe, my show comes on at 10 p.m. So you can vibe all night. Saturday night, have an old school party. Saturday night with, you know, your old school favorite, you know, like that blues, you know, and whatever. You know, you know the vibe, you know, like, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, and then you got on the other, and that's WGLRO.com. WGLRO.com. Donnie Walker. Shout out to Donnie Walker. I love my feelings. They let me be me. And then, of course, 10 o'clock, again, go all the way down to Orlando, Florida. You can catch me all online. We're worldwide, so that's a beautiful thing. I'm still in radio. What the fuck I need to rest for? I'm still in radio, bitches. Uh, doing me. You know, who, who, I, so I'm free to do me. Uh, WJHM 102 Jams. WJHM 102 Jams. WJHM 102 Jams. Shout out to Joe Boy. Shout out to Captain Chris. What's up, man? And, um, 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 uh, yeah, ask Alexa to play WJHM where you get your old school, and you, the whole night, it's like old school hip hop and shit like that. Old school, new school hip hop. So like for the hip, for my hip hop crew, cause you know, I'm, I love hip hop. Uh, you got WJHM 102 jams, Saturday nights, 10 o'clock, WJHM 102 jams, 
10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, Soul Screen Cafe. Ask Alexa to play WJHM for that, for the hip-hop vibe, for the old-school Soul Blues vibe, WGLR. Okay, I got to go. I told my friend I was going to call him about 10 minutes ago, and that was about 20 minutes ago. Talking to y'all. Love y'all. I don't know if we're going to do live tomorrow because I'm like, feel like I'm going to be resting for the next two days. So anyway, I will holler at you. Be safe. Be safe. No, it's not a hoax. Yes, it's real. But what are you going to do about it? Not what God going to do about it. Not even with Trump. Because Trump ain't going to do nothing to get y'all killed. What are you going to do about it? Now that you know what you're going to do. That's the truest thing right there. Bye. Click on. I'm finished. <laughs>